Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy time zone, everybody. This is the Road to Dusk. You can call me Road Dusk, anything that you would call a friend. I am a dream watcher, so we focus on sleep, dreams, and the imagination to help create an environment where people can learn to be better versions of themselves. And we have an interesting change of pace for tonight. We have we has company. Say hi, company. Hi, company. Hello. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'll be back soon. Yeah. <laughs> we have an interesting uh, set of folks tonight because we are doing uh, some tabletop. Or specifically uh, D&D. Hmm. It doesn't appear to be streaming on my end. Oh, wait. No, no it I, is. I was about to say, I'm streaming. I see. Stop oh. streaming and stop recording on my end for OBS. <laughs> okay. Well, it's it's working. I, I, I apparently need to reload Twitch. Nah. Yeah. Okay, and let me get volumes going. We has a jolly in the chat. Hello. I'm going to give a quick shout out to everyone that is the players for tonight. While I'm doing that, since we're waiting on Star to kind of chill so that we can get ready for, for the one shot proper, let's go around the campfire, seeing our campfire song, and talk a little about our characters. Who wants to go first? I mean it. <laughs> and I'll be right back. I have to go to the bathroom, but then I'll and then I come back so someone else can go. Okay. So it's between it's between Flarg and Top Hat for talking about your characters first. Alright, then you go. I nominate Flarg. <laughs> I was gonna say we can roll a D twenty. <laughs> I call well, heads. You you've already <laughs> been called, so all right, all right. Oh. <laughs> My... My name's Kida. I am a tiefling who has been raised by elves. I, My family had... My original family, my biological family to be exact, had to abandon me due to an orc raid. It, they hid me away so that my, my adopted family, who are, full of, who are all elves, by the way, could find me. I've been, I've been raised like an elf, so don't mind if I sound like an elf from time to time or act like an elf. <laughs> and there might be something off with me, something that's not so tiefling about me. Wait, you still got your baby teeth or something? Eh. No. <laughs> There's a reason why I... What if they get I... the pun? Are you half goat? <laughs> no. But I may not be all demonic. Ooh. <laughs> Alright, who wants to go next? That was Kita. I'll go. Fine. I am Mogar. And I am an old monster hunter. I used to be part of a war orc war band, but due to some free-handed tactics on our end on raiding villages, pillaging, we've been disbanded by adventurers. And now I try to make my and live peacefully although it is not easy to be accepted by you mace i do try to not be angry i've lived a long life but with these humies by now i'm getting old i've been passive helping them out just make an honest work i only want a good battle to finish me off. As all of us do, we do love our battles. And I'm not sure if I killed his parents. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, since Star is still AFK, Top Hat? But Top Hat can go, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, 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 no. Since you spoke no, up, no, no, you go already started. It. Go ahead. Nope, go ahead. You already I did started. not start. Yep. I, go. No, it's Jeremy's turn. I took, I took a breath in. <laughs> yep, that's your turn. You started. Go ahead. Yep. <sighs> <laughs> so, uh, my character's name is Dr. Jeremy Burgess, a scientist slash artificer slash whatever classification goes along with that in the class structure. Uh, uh, a, a fairly middle-aged man with a large lab coat full of gadgets and doodads and a tool belt that has seemingly endless properties. Uh, you could open it up and find a black hole inside. Yeah, you wouldn't even be surprised if you found five supernovas as well. He seems to have a tool for every situation, but why is the question? Fair enough. And that's all I'm giving you. Yeah. All right. Last but not least, <laughs> dad cut you off, Jeremy. It's like yeah. halfway. Oh, there's oh. ads. Yep. Oh, fuck. <laughs> ads. Ads. Yeah, yeah. Ads. Ads. Cut, ads. 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 more mystery. <laughs> wow. Okay, Zari. Well, there's a few more seconds left. Yeah, there's like, I, there's like 30 there. seconds left of ads. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still so happy. <laughs> yeah, you got. I came to see me. You, you huh? got some good soup. I did. I got to see my mom. No. Aw. Also, boosting the And she the played kilobytes. with Mishka, which was just wholesome. Nice. It's Mishka's birthday. Aww. No. She's three years old, so my mom played with her. Lego. Oh, that's adorable. Stop stealing the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's fine because the ads just finished up. Oh, hey. Yes. <laughs> okay, now that everybody can hear me, now I can actually say what I... My stupid... My... <laughs> I can say my things now. Yes. Why should ADHD be a jerk? I don't know. Can Anyway, my little Kenku's name is Isari. Uh, he is a drunken master monk, and he actually really deeply loves his family, which is his main motivation for becoming a monk. He wanted to find a way to protect them all, especially where he has such a large family. And uh, he has a very precious item to him that was given to him by one of his sisters who helped kind of encourage him and push him on the right path. So, coming to this new world, he's very confused. He doesn't understand where he is or why. And he can't seem to find this precious item. So, he mainly just wants to find it and see if there's any way to possibly return home. Yay. Alright, so now we know the folks that are going to be here. And I do want to say a few things for... Not only our audience, but also for you guys. So, unfortunately, <laughs> technology is a bit of a derp, and it does not want me to be able to show one thing on multiple things. So, if there is ever, say, a point where the little, uh, cute little infographic of everyone's player characters disappears, and you see, oh, I don't know, my... That was the wrong thing. If you see... Oh, daggum. Where is it? See, Thank instead... Your difficulties. Human you see difficulties instead, as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Speaking of humans... Oh. Hands! Oh, no! My hands! <laughs> nice the handles! <laughs> pretty ring, pretty ring, ring, Aww. ring, mine, mine. Yeah. Look at those tiny fucking fingers. I could <laughs> just fucking crush them. But... Tiny! You, um, I will try and give a cue when you guys have to look on stream, because unfortunately I cannot show the camera that you're seeing here on Discord as well as on stream, because it's very picky. Skill issue. That, <laughs> excuse me? 
You, you heard, heard him. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's what it is, all right. Just give us you. <laughs> but basically, if you know, like, uh, Dimension 20 and the Box of Doom, basically think of seeing my camera like this as, as basically mm. our session's Box of Doom. Okay. Box of Doom. Now I want to make a hat of doom. <laughs> Do you mind if I and I gotta go smooth you are on the lips? Doom. Oh, all good. Yep. You just got a flip top hat over and there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Biggie, I have my stuff at the ready, including a few other things if we need if we need visual representation for a few things. Like I said, if we do need to create some sort of visual on like maps whenever we deal with any combat i can <laughs> hodgepodge something but we will see what happens okay i'm back welcome back oh, that we'll said back, back. let me grab all the stuff that we all the stuff that we need while i set the scene The air has changed. Your sight blackened. What conversation or dreams you were in before have now ceased in the literal blink of an eye as you stand in an empty room. A table stands before you. A barely live candle flickering in the dark, revealing a disheveled hand on a dirty, open journal. At this exact moment, you begin to bring what remnants of your memory you have together to help you discern this change of scenery, this darkness, this silence, this eerie, eerie silence that overtakes the very room as it can't seem to even fathom a scent. But through the course of slowly gaining your composure, you do see those around you. Each of you seeing like three others, excluding yourselves from your own per from your own views. What are your reactions to the situation and also seeing each other? Who do you all see first? I'm half blind, so I half don't see everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> you see half a tiefling, half a bird, half a book, half a hand. <laughs> Well, I think Asari would probably see the human first and freak out a little bit, because prior to this, he was speaking with another Kenku. <laughs> it isn't. That's a big bird. It's wearing clothes. I, I won't I, kill it. No. I, w I would see the, the big old orc first, since it appeared right beside him. <laughs> what the fuck is an orc doing here? <laughs> What's wrong? You never seen an orc up close? Never seen a half blind orc? Yeah, yeah I'm just in my corner. This is this is odd. Where am I? Where the fuck am I at? And who Throughout are all of this? Uh, Jeremy sees um, a giant bird first, but does not make any noises or acknowledgement uh, of where he is, oh. but just takes out a small red notebook and starts writing down notes. Road, I need to I need to ask. What's up? Is my is my seeing Oh you just went robotic. Oh okay. Uh, <clears throat> let me Thou just, uh... shalt not ask about the seeing eye. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways be Oh. Okay, is, no. it, is okay. it better now? Oh. Oh. Uh, okay. Just every is time that you try and ask a thing, your own microphone is like, nope. Okay. Go ask. Well, in any case, is my dog there? Is my dog also here? Uh, I was riding him while uh, Blackie Tout. Roll me... Uh, Considering it is dark, I I need you to roll me uh, a quick uh, investigation with. I'm, I'm sorry, but dark doesn't. Okay. Okay. I, I don't see colors when it's dark. Just saying. 
Okay, but <laughs> I, yeah. I, I can see 60 feet. That, so that would okay, be fair. the norm. In the you, darkness. You, yeah. you would not be able to see colors in the dark. That's how <laughs> eyes work. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm just, no. I'm just with, pointing with it out. With your dark vision, you are able to see all of you are in a simultaneously a simultaneously spacious but also cramped room. It would normally be spacious if not for the fact that your dog is in one of the corners and he is a big boy. Mm. If, Here, boy. And while he does that, while you do that, like, you just see Isari slowly sliding over to pet the dog out of sheer nervousness. Oh, this is not your normal dog. Uh, Mogar, you want to describe your doggo? His name is Warg, and he is a warg, a large, monstrous, wolf-like creature that has, that seems scarred and pretty old, like me. <laughs> me a big boy, and he, I could technically ride him, being an even larger, uh, individual myself this is no ordinary dog this is my mount and my friend i still need companionship he's still gonna reach over and like just try and pet it to calm himself down <laughs> considering you are uh, not, the owner lucky, how would you describe uh, his reaction the dog's reaction yeah just just staring through through them <laughs> like just looking past them doesn't <laughs> basically acknowledges that the uh being petted in scruffed but is such a loyal animal that they do not attack unless ordered to the dog doesn't give two fucks <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, that's right. I, I, I also had a raven. I also had a raven, mate. Can I, can I see my raven was with me? Is still with me? Uh, I will. Of course they're with you. They're giant and wearing clothes. <laughs> well, I, I'm a raven. <laughs> mm, I, I don't raven. know this man. Like, <laughs> uh, mm. at. At the moment, I will say, um, something has seemed to have happened to your raven, Kita. Um, yeah, it's there giant is... and wearing clothes. <laughs> <laughs> there be is quiet white coat. There is a like normal sized raven feather, right at your feet. No. That's not one of mine. <laughs> I mean, do you I'm... want to investigate it? How, how dark is the room? The the only light that's in here is the, the is the candle that's on the table, and even then, it doesn't look like it has torches. much time left. I'm gonna grab one of my torches and use that candle to light it. <laughs> it it takes a while, but you know what? I will allow it. You eventually. Nah, just put a little. Just put a little oil on the on the uh, tip of the. The torch cloth and go and a light. There we go. As you mm. use your torch to light up uh, this room, you see scribbles and scrawls all over the walls. You see, mm. like, it looks to be a particular symbol that almost looks like a sort of hourglass with orbs on the poles that are holding an hourglass together. With it arches looks... uh, above and below. I could even give you all a visual. Yes. As as Jeremy is writing in his red notebook, he notices this symbol and takes out a similarly sized but slightly thicker black notebook as well and starts to reference other notes made it, made within that one. <laughs> and for reference, for a visual, on stream here is the symbol it looks very grainy right now but yeah sorry he's just still in his little corner but he's curiously he watching like everybody 
It looks like an empty mirror frame, badly drawn. <laughs> like you see this sign repeated hundreds, if not thousands of times, overlapping each other on every yeah. wall. Definitely a madman. Well, maybe it's a human. Maybe not. Are you, you wanting to get a closer can, look? The human in the room. Are you wanting can, to get a closer I, look at? It? Uh, Can I question. roll investigation? I what are you wanting to investigate? For anybody for? Here. <laughs> um, first of all, I have uh, a proficiency in history. Mm -hmm. And so I'd like to know if I recognize this symbol. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to give the torch to the bird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's just going to awkwardly take it and stand there like, I I'll hold this now. All right, yeah. Jeremy, roll me history. Okay. Uh, d d d d d history. A 15. 15? You... You recognize uh, this symbol. Back home where you're from, this symbol is indicative of a particular cult that has been a thorn in you and your firm's side. However, the exact connection or the exact name of the cult is escaping you. But the symbol is familiar. Gotcha. He makes a note of this in his journal, but still remains silent. Mm. Mm. Who else here can see in the dark? I can... Okay. Any case, this. Hmm. I look. O I look over the room. Is there a window or a door? No. Well, there is a door, but at the moment, um. Actually, no. Considering also your dark vision, you can tell that. At least. At least for some uh, individuals. It seems to be like whoever was in here last definitely struggled to get it back open, but mm. I'm going to try and grab the, the knob. Then I'm going to hold off a bit. Going to let go of the knob, look back. Mm, I have a bad feeling about this. What do you all make of this before we proceed? Oh. I'm not a good place. Mm. Not a good place at all. Don't understand. Hmm. I, I feel like this is very bad area right now to be at. Jeremy is busy tracing his fingers over one of the symbols, trying to recall more information, but is still within his books. Mm. White coat. Do you recognize the symbol? He Wait. mutters to himself before taking out, b before putting away his black notebook and taking out a slightly larger green notebook and flipping to. Where, where, where is the kitty? All these books. <laughs> <laughs> and a, as he hears, a, a, as he hears this remark, he just looks up, opens up the right side of his lab coat, and shows five other color-coded notebooks within separate pockets and pulls it back up again. I approach Arr. the white coat and Arr. and basically just tap him gently with my big green sausage finger on the shoulder. <laughs> I'm sorry to disturb your thrilling discoveries, but do you recognize any of this white coat? Uh, I will note before he answers, you may notice a slight reverberance on his coat, as, as if it is 50 layers in a single oh dear. thread. Enchanted uh, as well. Interesting. He then, <laughs> he then opens up his green notebook to uh, a page rather late in, uh, in the index and shows off that symbol and says, I've seen it before. I don't recognize 
where I saw it, but I know I've seen it before. And the notes he has underneath is just cult with two underlines under it and a circled no good. You cut off a bit. Cult and under Sorry. it. The, the only notes next to this symbol in the green notebook are cult with two underlines and no good circled. Hmm. Great. A den of crazed Hierophants or Acolytes. Or would I need it on a good part, I suppose? No, 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 no. I don't think it's anything savage like that. I think they're intelligent to a point. Peter. But intelligent hmm. cult. Yes. Given Let that. me also pull you in on something, considering you're dark vision as well. Oh? Um, <laughs> at the... At the table that has the dying candlelight and the journal, you notice ash over top the over top the journal, and also over top, but basically the floor, and just accumulated in a very particular spot. Given your interactions with elven folk, you recognize this as one of the final stages of decomposition for what else? Oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh, uh, hi. guys, you, you spoke. What? What? Yes. What, what? What is it? I would have. I would have has died here. Not what? Uh, what uh, makes you what say that? What does that mean? That? The all this ash. That's the final. That's when the wood elf dies. They become ash when they find found and there's ash all around these areas in certain spots. I'm as gonna go investigate that. As you're wanting to investigate. So with that, Isari, Isari uh, would basically just casually go over to the table and stand up on top of it while still holding the torch. Like, yep, yep, I'm up here. Uh, I'm, I, so, as, r- road. Uh, yeah. As being an old orc who has killed his fair share of people, uh, would this actually line up pretty fucking well? Yes, it definitely would. Because from mm. your own experiences on the battlefield, why what else would not have like immediately poofed into ash? Um, ash is known to be one of the final stages of decomposition for wood elves, including their skeletons. Hmm. I've seen this, but usually there's armor. So, well, usually it's ash-filled armor, but he's right. Wood elf. And as as Jeremy by hears, this, it's been a while. Jeremy, as Jeremy hears this classification, he. His, his face lights up as he brings out his black notebook once again and flips to a different page and asks just to the general room, this may sound strange, but Sorry. how how long do wood elves live? And you get the air that he's talking in air quotes without making the quotes as he says wood elf. Uh, what do you mean by how long they live? Oh, As... I can answer that. Yes, please. They can live for hundreds of years, from what I know. About, a, I believe the hundred. oldest one was about a thousand. Okay, and on average, would it be 600 or 800? 700, to be exact. 700. They can still starve. That's a weird and one, but yeah. He, he looks mm-hmm. confused and flips through a few other pages before closing his black notebook and continuing to write in his red. Mm. In any is case, this human okay? Wait. Is, is there actually... Like, th- there's stuff on the table, right? Yeah, the, the only things that are on the table are a journal and the candle. But I there is the a prominent amount of ash on the journal. I blow off the ash. <laughs> trying not to blow out the candle. <laughs> How do you just roll breaks. performance? <laughs> no. That just makes a sorry do with tippy taps on the table. And I just shake the journal off and just wipe 
wipe it on my cloak like Ugh. and I just you passed have no respect for the dead <laughs> the dead are dead and if they come what? back they can they can deal with it themselves and I I'm gonna to that I, the dead do I, in fact come back and I I give the journal to the white coat you seem to be a avid reader here decipher this I'm sure or it has a clue at least. He holds out his hand and... Uh, Covered in dead people. <laughs> I, uh, don't worry, looking, I wiped it off. <laughs> just looking at the script of any writing in the journal, does I'm, it appear... Bird. I'm, I'm, I'm actually gonna... Bird, get over here. You have the torchlight. Okay. <laughs> he just kind of hops uh, off the table. And just like try, you see him just trying to like tip tap over the over the ash, and trying to respect the bodies. <laughs> uh, asking the DM just for the formation of any writing in this journal, does it seem English alphanumeric? It it, it is in common. So, uh, with common being one of the languages that you know, thankfully it is in. It you can understand it as right, you okay. read. Um, how much are you trying to get out of the journal? Um, he flips it open to the first page that was, uh, open when the journal, when we first saw the journal. When you first saw the journal, it was on one of the final, uh, pages, though obviously there, there are a few pages afterward just left blank. Um, the, the writing towards the end here seems, it, it's, for, for lack of better phrasing, just the writings of someone who has gone off the deep end. It's a repetition of almost a cryptic poetry. It reads... Well, actually, let me... Considering you were the only one that's reading it at the moment, I'll just send it to you in DMs. And you can yeah, yeah. disclose it to the party at your leisure. He is deep in thought as he reads seeming to put himself into the book for lack of a better phrase as well as he's just immersing himself in these words not speaking to anybody as he paces around in a small circle he's stepping on the bodies he's stepping <laughs> on the bodies it's just <laughs> ash it's fine be quiet. <laughs> Not just ash. <laughs> Have any of you ever walked on a battlefield before? Or just do no it? I, I have to inform you that you are stepping on dead bodies everywhere. Dead bodies? Right? Jeremy raises his hand and goes, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Yes. <laughs> I'm not telling you. I'm telling the other two. They seem panicked. <laughs> it's wood elves, god damn it. If it was anything else, I wouldn't panicking here, but it's wood elves. Oh, stop being a snowflake. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, you... Okay, hey, you I'm playing... orc. <laughs> I'm playing an old orc. I just had to. No, you're good. In the context of the game, it's fine. <laughs> yes. Cue the skitters, skittering of goblins. Why? <laughs> hey, Spiral. <laughs> uh, Jeremy, are you doing any more with trying to decipher the journal? Uh, more so, he's both holding the old journal and his red notebook uh, in in the same hand as he's writing these words in in the red notebook, muttering to himself, uh, "Doom, rot, and silence," just very softly. I thought I was mad. Oh, so, what? What's the? What's in the book? He's he's deep in thought and doesn't seem to hear you as he flips to one of the very first pages of the journal. And Wait, that is sorry, it's sorry. Kind of scoots over a little bit and just like taps his claws on his back, like, "Hey, you you, you found something, buddy?" Uh, <laughs> once again, as as with uh before, you also feel a slight tingle in his lab coat as it feels like <laughs> it really should be thicker when it's only a single fabric. 
What's oh. happening? Uh, <laughs> you're the one who got his attention. Get his attention for us, please. Again. Uh, hey. <laughs> he acknowledges. Uh, the, he, he acknowledges yeah. the concerns and starts to read out from the first page of the journal. You all hear uh, the first uh, few pages. This is basically the detailings of who you can assume to be the Wood Elf whose remnants remain here and his final days before going insane and succumbing to starvation and lack of sustenance. How long that he has been that truly dead we can't really you can't really discern because you also can't because also from his writings in Bad this break. area you cannot oh damn it <laughs> i see that now uh, yeah the end All but right. i was gonna i was just gonna uh, mention to you that i'm going to be investigating the door for traps okay um when but the ads we will wait up, for the ads yeah, yeah. when when the ads finish up, I will give a synopsis on the journal, and then I'll let you do that investigation. All right. Uh, I heat. just came from a, from a game that the, <laughs> we were all talking over each other, but it's kind of hard to not talk over each other when each description needs to be talked about. Yeah. Like yeah. action, we can't just move. We, we we have to inform. Right. As which... long as no one is getting, like, hurt uh, from the fact that people are accidentally talking over each other, like, I think we should be okay. I'm going to be a bit annoyed, but I won't be mad because I kind of understand the situation. Yeah. Well, also, yeah. Discord, Discord lag. Yeah. yeah. Has it been 90 seconds left yet? Uh, oh, you we know got what? 10 seconds. Uh, Mind if I uh, do a little game for uh, uh, fifteen to talk seconds? First? Actually, uh, I'm seeing only um, like not oh. even five seconds now. Oh, okay. Well, well that's because you're the gone. owner, but I got like seven seconds left. Ah, yeah, five, five, four, four but, three, hey, two. Just, just, a, just the thing. If if we don't know who should talk first, let's just roll the the dice. Highest number talks first. Yeah, I like that idea. <laughs> that said, looks like the ads are done. So, what you guys are able to discern from this journal as Jeremy reads through it all is this Wood Elf's uh, descent into madness and eventual death. Eventually, like, you see the beginnings of this individual panicked because being brought into the same room as you all are in now, completely unexpectedly, wishing for uh, his family and relatives again before slowly starting to turn his words into simultaneously like cryptic prophetic and madness inducing poetry and that's when eventually you find the exact the, the beginnings of the uh, poem that Jeremy you had found the leaves and are the roots <laughs> the heads are the toes to live is to doom, to rot is to know. But even if you soon forget, silence will see you remember yet. Hmm. White coat, do you see anything that references to what is outside this room? He flips through a few pages to find the very last entry, the very last word, to see if there's anything. What, uh, unfortunately, the best that you can see is a just chicken scratch of the same poem and eventually layers upon layers of the same symbol that's seen on the wall. Gotcha. All right. Are, are, there any, are there any ripped pages or is it simply scrawls? It's scrawls. Okay. White coat, you seem a smart one. What do you do in, in life? That changes day to day. Right now, I survive. As he goes back to writing in his red uh, No, you fool. I'm talking, what is, 
What do you work as? I work as a ranger. And I told you, it changes day to day. All right, all right. Okay. Don't forget circles. Any, any one of you is uh, proficient in trap disarming. I'm going to check the door. If any of you feel up for it, come with. Mm. Uh, I keep trying to push the door down, but no. I know good with traps. Exactly. If anything, I'll open the door. You stay safe. Jeremy speaks up. Get up for it. If if this wood elf died in this room, writing in this book, why wouldn't he try the door? Honestly, uh, my guess is was an idiot. Moving on. Fair point. Be my guess. And I'm I'm gonna try the hat a bit, just jiggling it to hear if there's anything uh, attached to it on the other side. It does feel like it's attached to something. Mm. I'm going to ch check the four corners of, of the uh, door to uh, basically find any hits of actual <laughs> people trying to get in or out. You're not... I don't need you to roll for this. You can definitely see, like, scratches and, like... Mm. Th there's a lot of scratches from several, like, hands from several different wisps and, and whatnot. Several different depths of nails trying to pry this door open. Mm. Hmm. Have they tried pushing or pulling? <laughs> Or all of the above? All of the above. Do I see any weapon marks on it? Um, you see a lot of, like, bludgeoning dents on the dents on the door, but they have not seemed to have done any effect. Mm. Do I see... Is <laughs> the Are the hinges on this side? By this side, are you meaning... This side of the, of the, the door. Uh... Yes. I'm gonna uh, fucking unhinge the door, <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell people to fucking steer clear of the entrance and the and you know anything the entrance faces. Jeremy, when has... I when I open this door, I don't know what will come flying out. Just be prepared for a fight. Jeremy has already stood off to the furthest end of the door. Hmm. It's sorry, basically moves after him. It's like, I gotta keep him safe. Dog. Gotta keep the dog safe. Yeah. And, and I basically have the dog move away on, behind me on the side <laughs> so he doesn't get, get hit. But right. he... Steady. All right. That's not the dog, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is the dog. I can clearly see my own. No, no, I I'm at Mishka howling at the exact moment you called her dog over. <laughs> uh, okay. M Mishka and wants to role play. <laughs> does it feel like I could actually move the door away? Um, just, just like rattling it. Does it feel loose enough? The the more that you that that you jank with it, it seems like it's slowly starting to give. Mm. Not by All a whole right. lot, but you can tell that there's been enough force on this throughout however long that it is starting to show signs of wear. Right. I don't need to break down the door. I pull the door out and basically move to the Here. side quickly. <laughs> okay. Like, using the door as a shield as well, you know? Like, it, it, just in case. Roll okay, athletics. so you're like, you're like trying to like just straight up pull it off of the hinges. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. Uh, well, no, I I don't pull it off the hinges. I unmade the hinges earlier. I said so. Fair. With my hacks. Okay. So with hacking that off and you just pulling the door off using it like a shield, all of you feel a sudden just gush, like a long uh, gust of wind that. For for those that are away from the doorway you deal with it the least but more 
Now, Mogar, I will have to say for you, I need you to roll me a dexterity I save. The, I, I moved away from the door. Like, you know okay. when... You know Sorry, fighting, my brain, uh, my uh, brain injured. Game, games, when, when you over to, to uh, like, uh, the over the corner. Okay, like, yeah, my I brain right to the wall. Okay, my brain derp. So all of you are out of range from this gust of wind. Like, it just suddenly seems like the air is trying to bring an equilibrium of pressure. And suddenly, while the air before felt very light, almost stale. too perfectly light, stale, now you suddenly get the smells of fire which is almost warm but also in a very eerie way as well as the obvious smell of death but I don't think this door is going to help anymore ooh, when you peer out uh, out Maybe. to the doorway it seems like it is a rather short set of steps in between two very long um two long uh, paths just to get like two of those said steps and at the bottom does seem to be another uh, doorway this having like no door on it just a path straight through I don't think this torch is going to help anymore I'm going to cut the door into a shield keeping the handle as well a shield handle <laughs> just, just just in case so I'm just basically now I just have a little square shield. Well, a little square <laughs> shield. Finally, a smart orc. For for, for me it's oh, for yeah. me it's like a uh, for for me it's like uh, a big buckler, but for yeah. them it's gonna be a, a full on shield. Right. Um, if anybody needs a shield, here you are. Jeremy hey. taps his wrist and goes, "No need." I I I'm okay. Give it to the elf. No. <laughs> I am a, I have a tea thing, mind you. Mine bird. You it's very it's very obvious that they're a tiefling. Look at the horns. They're not. Look at the tail. <laughs> no 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 to to play devil's advocate, sometimes elves do have horns. Just saying. Peace. Which ones? It's been a while yeah. since I've found the elves. Oh wait, no, he's right. <laughs> okay, well, and I'm not Anyways. sure you would have seen them, but they do exist. I will say that. <laughs> I've been a law alive a long time. Yeah, you, so have I. You, well, go ahead, keep the shield, you big old orc. Do you have a problem with me? No, I'm just stating facts as I see them. Hmm. All so right. he's still outside, and he just starts I, walking towards the door with the torch. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm gonna grab you by the shoulder. Mm, you don't seem too uh, sturdy. Let me go first. I can at least still take a hit. And I'm gonna put the the little shield thing on my back specifically. Okay. Like just on strapped onto the back. Back shield. Mm. All right. So you so. Mogar, you're starting to go with Isar with holding Isari by like the scruff or like the their collar, right? What? No, no, no. I'm not. He just <laughs> no, pulled me I, back. I, I, okay. I, I pulled them back so that I could work walk forward. You know to be better better shield these uh, smaller beings. All right. Well, as you take a step into like this hallway, going to the the steps. All of you f hear something drop in the room that was that that everyone else except for you, Mogar, is still inside it. You begin to hear very slowly the 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 sound of stone, like just scratching against stone. And it is very large stone against very large stone. Dog, to me. Everyone, out. <laughs> Don't have to tell me twice. 
Jeremy mm. puts away his red notebook back into his lab coat and taps his right temple twice as he runs out as well. I I have my I have uh, my uh, hand crossbow in one hand and my axe in the other, ready. Like, like as I hear the scratching, does like, does it stop at some point or does it feel like there's somebody something trying to get into that room? No, it. If when you look in, it looks like the room is shrinking. I hope everybody got what they needed. Uh, Because that room's going to be disappearing in a bit. I already paid my respects to the the dead widow. Jeremy holds up the old journal and puts it in his left uh, lab coat pocket. Mm. As you... Oh, sorry. Were you you trying to find a bird earlier? Yes. Yes, my my raven has been with me for a long time. Have you tried calling for it? Before the room disappears. You have uh, a I can't believe I have to say this name now. <laughs> my sister was the one who came up with the name. Say it. Call him. Oh, oh, sweetie pie. <laughs> you. Why did you name the poor bird that? That's an insult. <laughs> it wasn't me. It was my sister. No, From no, no. no. I, I, I feel it's very endearing. You, you've, you've definitely heard worse. Let me tell you. <laughs> no. From the I other open room, that. not the one that is currently being shrunk, you do hear, like a, a, a surprise and scared. <laughs> Oh dear! Oh, there you are. Wait, oh. wait. Is, is are okay in another room? In the other room. So, yes. Yeah. Wait a second. So, so, so we is it, we are is it on close? the st- we are on steps right now. You okay. came out of the room. That's with the journal. That room is currently shrinking. On the other side of the steps, there is another doorway. No door, and that is where you heard the call. Do you want to go retrieve your bird, or should we continue on? I want to retrieve my bird. God damn it! All that right. bird has been with me. I'm, I'm going to lead. I'm going to lead the the charge to basically uh, see about ret- retrieval. Just in, and I'm going to be prepared for like if anything jumps at me, I'm fucking killing it. Right. <laughs> Don't I'm kill my fucking... bird. Not no, no. Bird. Like if anything's attacking <laughs> me. Don't All kill right. me. Thank you, yes. Still. Okay. I'm, I'm going to be on the lookout for a bird. No worry. No worries. I won't kill your familiar. Thank you, Afik. All okay. right. As soon as you uh, go in, Mogar, give me just a hot moment, because... Actually, no. Given your dark vision, I would feel like you would be able to see this. When you go in, you do see there are the two, like, big old honker fiends that almost look what? like you, you see two large fiends with... With honkers? <laughs> if you want them to be femme, uh, sure. You see uh, giant uh, geese. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I mean, you said honkers. I was like... Confused, he said honkers. Like... I did, but no. You see two. You you see two large fiends, with, like basically horse bottom and the, what almost looks oh. like a human torso, but is so already oh, covered are. with blood and viscera, uh, nails sharpened and extended into claws, with a large, uh, like snake like tail and replace for anything hair-like, horns protruding off of its side, can- like, several sets of canines with barely any room for the eyes that it has as it looks straight forward with other horns protruding off of its shoulders like pauldrons. Beans. Your bird might be dead. <laughs> Not yet. I see viscera, but I don't see any sign of the bird. In any but- case... We, we must attack. A surprise round. Yeah, Charging, you, th- no there survivors. are two of these, I will have you know. 
And how the, strong do they look? How big are they? Uh, they are considered large, so they they are big. Yeah. I'm considered large as well, but that's just for my strength. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm going to mount the dog, or the, and I'm going to tell uh, hmm, and how many of you have ranged weapons? I do. Uh, I do. I got a long bow. I've got a I few. Have darts. Ready your range weapons. We attack from as soon as we appear from the gate, and then oh. the battle begins. We surprise them, and then we continue the fight. Mm. They seem like horses. Aim for the Twisted legs. Sensor. Cripple, cripple them. Twisted sensor. <laughs> They are not centaurs. They are fiends, demons, and they must be killed. Horse, shoot him! <laughs> I need a picture to save my 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 raven. It was just to all save right. sweetie pie. Bo oh, all right. dear. Re ready weapons. I oh, yeah. And is, is everybody ready with their weapons? Yep. Yeah. He, yep. as you were speaking, he would have reached in and grabbed his darts. Jeremy is patting right. his right coat pocket. All well, right. Well, Road, really we, we, we are boat. going to be starting uh, an ambush. <laughs> yep, I am realizing that. So, real quick, just for just so that people are not going to be fighting over each other, let's do an early roll for initiative. Yeah, but we're going to have definitely a, you know, yeah. the free round. Yeah, with this surprise round, I'm not going to be including uh, the uh, the fiends right. that you're that you're going to be against. Is everybody like ready? Yep. Okay. First rolls of the night. Let's go. Let's... Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Uh, Damn. A fifteen. One, two. That's an eleven. Eleven for you. And for me, it is a ten. Ten. Got it. Thank God, the tank is going last. <laughs> <laughs> but either way, we're all going at the same time. Yep, yep. Well, no, but I, I get it. But yeah. Monster, why is it only showing me the one monster on my thing when I have when I'm supposed to have two? D and D Beyond, why do you be like this? Working. Oh, by the way, Road, do you count uh, switching weapons as an action? Or uh, I will say what? switching weapons will be for tonight its own action. Okay, so I then just I'm gonna have to drop my weapon. God damn it! Because dropping is free, and grabbing like grabbing my weapon is is like. Unsheathing my weapon is is also free, so uh, right. I don't. I hate dropping weapons. It's useful, but you know. Right. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Just because they're drops doesn't mean they're gone. It's just on the floor. Yeah. In any case. Yeah, but he won't good. have access to it. Right. Yeah, but I, at some at, at that point, I'll I won't need the range weaponry. All right. So just for full transparency, Kita, you had fifteen. Yes. Jeremy, 11? Yep. Isari, 22? Yep. Mogar, 10? Yes. Gotcha. All right, so top of the round uh, for the surprise round. Isari, what are we doing? Uh, I have 10 darts, so I would be shooting at all of their legs. Okay, going for the legs. Roll to hit. Okay. Which one is that one again? It's, uh... Your uh... D20... Plus your road. I should have. Uh, uh, <clears throat> oh, we need to also your add your dog. Called... Oh yes, my my big uh, my big boy. Uh, let me just look up his uh, initiative. So he plus two initiative. Let me just grab uh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Twenty-one. Twenty-one. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> Wow, he has plus two initiative, and he goes before me. Then again, that that's kind of good, but right? Not really. Uh, can spread. you give me your pupper's HP, armor class, and speed? HP thirty-seven, AC fourteen. 
Okay, and AC speed, 14. 50. 50. I rolled a 20, by the way. He's a, it's, 20? it's a mount, so obviously it's fast. Okay. All right, so yeah, no, those definitely hit, so roll for damage. Okay, okay. which one was damage again, though? That was... Hold on. Sorry. All good. Which one was damage again? Please remind me. I haven't used D&D &D Beyond in a bit. Yeah, damage is, if you look at your character sheet, let me actually pull up mm -hmm. your character sheet on my end to help you out. So when you have, when you do damage for say like your darts, so your damage is what's considered, what's the one D four plus four. So you roll your D four, which is your triangle prism looking one. And then whatever you, whatever you have, you add four. Oh, okay. Twenty two. No, 22 was what you... Oh, had. wait, I see, I see. Never mind, I, yeah. found, it, I found it, I found the wrong all one. All right, all right. Okay. Nine! Nine? Hold mm -hmm. on. Wait, 1D... It's a 1D4 plus 4. How did you get nine? I might be clicking the wrong thing. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, on your character sheet, you should be able to, like, just click on the thing in, the, in your dart area that says 1D4 plus 4. Oh, uh, I'm never ignore me. It's fine. Seven. Seven. There we go. That makes <laughs> I, a lot I'm more sense. Ignore me. I'm sorry. Hey, all good. But considering you were able to send darts effectively in all directions, you I'll say that you hit both of them and I'll just have the same amount of damage go to both. They def they did not like that, but they were more like just like tip tap in their, their feet, be like, what the hell was that? That that kind of thing. All right. Wait, did, wait, what happened? Uh, I so, struck. Isari He's... like struck and used darts to aim for uh, the fiends like the uh, feet or hooves, and they're just more like, oh, what happened? Like they 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 felt like a stun, like a sting, and they're just like inspecting their their hooves right now be like what in the world that kind of hurt mm -hmm. not like okay. talking talking anyway it yeah. is your puppers go okay and i'm going to have him hold action Ooh, okay now can you tell me what you what he is holding his action for what you you, you do called hold action yeah, I, I tend to do a called hold okay, action. Okay, well, to, to charge and and bite one. Okay. He's holding his action to charge and bite one. Okay. Once, uh, yeah. Okay, so holding his action then. So, Kida. Yeah? What do you want to do? Well. Let's see. For my first action... And this is going to be a, like, I'll be casting a spell while firing because it requires me to fire Ooh. an arrow. Oh, boy. Hail of Thorns. Ooh, Ooh, that's a good one. Ooh, that's a good one. But first, I want to roll to hit. Okay, roll to hit. I hope the bu I hope they don't, they're not holding the bird right so, now. No, <laughs> boy. What? A 22. 22 hits? Yep. Let's see, for initial damage for the long longbow before the Hail of Horns activates. Uh, two damage. <laughs> Only two Aww. damage. And but, with one, are you using, I, but, I'm assuming you're only using one bow right now, so you can only target one. Yes. And, and I also casting Hail of Horns. Okay. For, for the first level, which requires a D one D ten too. Ooh, okay. I'm trying to remember which one was D ten. One sec. The one that has the all the way up number D ten. Yeah, D ten is yep. the same same uh shape as the one with like twenty, seventy, whatever. Got it. One sec. 
Okay, he is really and real that's nice. And uh, additional three damage. Okay, so that's a total of five damage. Um, I'll just say for simplicity's sake, they're next to each other. Are you wanting the one on the left or the one on the right? Uh, the one on the left. Okay. Now with the that now with that, his friend suddenly sees him getting hunted with the the with this like his. The, his torso of, uh, looks thorns, kind of uh, like a. Area of effect. <laughs> Hold on, I, let me. It's sorry, I am extremely rusty with DMing. So hail of thorns. Oh, it's said. fine. Take your time. The next time you had a creature with ranged weapon attack before the spell ends, this spell creates a rain of thorns that sprouts from your ranged weapon or ammunition. Ah, this spell ah. creates a rain of thorns that spouts from your ranged weapon or ammunition. In addition to the normal effects of the attack, the target of the attack and each creature within five feet must makes a must make a dex saving throw. Okay, Ooh. so okay, so they only take one d10 piercing damage on a failed save. So one d10 is still pretty good. Yeah. So let me actually see, because if because they are right next to each other, so I will be rolling for the both of them. So let's see how their dex is. Um, <laughs> you know what? Just for simplicity's sake, I will say that they both fail. So I'll have both of them take that extra damage, the f the f the extra three from the Hail of Thorns, you said? Yep. Got it. All right. Do you have any bonus actions or anything? Let's see. No, I actually used my bonus section, Hail of Thorns. Okay. It, All yeah, right. I took an attack and a, a spell to activate, so... Got it. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, quick pause. I'm just going to mute myself. I'll be right back because oh. I want to... Well, go good. It's ads. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. oh, okay. Uh, I'll see. I can while we're dealing take with my meds. <laughs> wow, can convenient. Go take my meds and stuff. Ah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's bit audible, but uh, I don't feel good. <laughs> Aw. Oh. Yeah. Do you need I, uh, I spent all day sleeping. <laughs> Do you need us to try and have this be shorter and have this be a multi-part so that you can focus on yourself? Mm -mm. No, no, please. I spent all day, all last night and all day sleeping. I just want to be awake. Okay. I mean, come on. G give the person some some game time. They, they need the activity. <laughs> yeah, oh, there's so ads. I don't have the energy to read. Yeah, that's yeah, what they were ads, saying. Ads have been going. Okay, sorry. We got about I, I 30 seconds God, left. I'm so stupid. Hold on. Yeah, I, I still have ads. I have my meds while wow. the ads are going. Oh, okay. good. But I, I've been half listening. Did all good as as has jeremy been <laughs> well in about 10 seconds i'll be needing jeremy to to do something mm -hmm. so give me a hot minute let me see when ads are finished on my end five four three there we go all right can't wait to go in and smack a bitch right all <laughs> right jeremy what have we got buddy all right. Well, first of all, uh, I have extra attack. You can attack twice rather than once uh, whenever you take the attack action on your turn. So I'm going to use both my, not spells, uh, automatic pistol and revolver, Ooh. one in each hand, and shoot either one of them. Do you have a feat to dual wield? I believe I do. When you attack once, do you attack like twice? Or... Uh, ac actions in combat, two weapon fighting. Okay, oh, two weapon okay. fighting. I thought that gave a C. Well, Ooh. let me double check. So, two weapon fighting, D&D. One. D so, okay. Two weapon fighting. Here we go. When you take the attack action and attack with a light melee weapon that you were holding in one hand, you All can right. use a bonus action uh, to attack with a different light melee Pistols are considered melee. melee. Yeah. For, okay. Yeah. Unfortunately. You don't right, have uh, your ability modifier to the damage of the bonus attack unless the modifier is negative. 
Gotcha. And since we're doing with ranged here, that doesn't that doesn't. Uh, actually, I, I believe pistols and stuff are considered melee. Uh, uh, nope. For some uh, reason. But both my pistol and revolver are counted as range. Okay. Let's see. Yep. <laughs> so yeah. unfortunately, okay. with two weapon fighting. I wonder where I heard that from. <laughs> huh. It's weird. So unfortunately, with two weapon fighting. Considering this is prioritizing melee weapons, you can only wield one pistol. Gotcha. And um, shoot one pistol. <laughs> in that case, I will use. Uh, I will use the automatic pistol instead. Okay. And just attack once. Right, right. a tad, tad, motherfucker. <laughs> Are you going to? Like, cause they, the 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 fiends here look they, basically look like they've taken basically the same amount of damage. One of them is just barely a little bit worse. Who are you going for? Right. Um. Since he is right-handed, he will go for the right one. Got as it. He pulls it out of his right jacket pocket. Got it. Hold a hit. Um. Just trying to find. Uh, I cannot find any modifiers on this. Hold on, let me see your character sheet. See, I should have an automatic pistol and a revolver in my inventory. I forgot to add them to my inventory before, so I did it quickly while all y'all were taking your turns. Yeah, so let's see. Revolver, pistol, so let's do that. Okay, so now with adding them to your inventory for your automatic pistol, to roll to hit, you need to roll a d20 and add 6. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, everyone... Uh, that is a 19. 19 hits. Alrighty. Roll for and damage. Then... It's going to be 2d6 plus 3. Okay. 2d6. Yikes. That is a 5. Not too bad. Not Ooh. too good. God, goddamn yeah. snake eyes. Wait, so... It's on a 2d6 so plus 3. Ooh. Yeah. That That is very unfortunate, actually. He, yeah. He, he reaches into his uh, jacket pocket and pulls out a gun that really should not have fit into that jacket pocket. Shoots... <laughs> shoots for the chest of the right fiend, but instead grazes the arm. Yeah, and you... Because... Uh, he made noise... I lost the number. You said that was what? Uh, five. Five, the bare minimum. Yeah. I'm yeah, sorry, it, could you hear Mishka? Yes, I heard Mishka. I yeah, did hear it. Adorable. You see the bullet graze one of the horns off of the fiend's shoulder. And instead, go, um, hits a chain as you hear a cage fall and Kita you hear uh, your sweetie pie again cawing in shock dude okay. the hell don't worry sweetie what? pie we're here to save you <laughs> no, 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 no. there's honestly uh, just, just saying there's not even room to talk we're all shooting at the same time technically <laughs> so yeah. oh wait a minute yeah, that, that's how that's how combat in D and D works. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. One Even round is within six we're minutes. We're all doing this at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Well, one round of combat is six seconds. Yeah. Yeah. It, it may take us like ten minutes to figure out what we're doing in what order, but in fact, we're just going bam and bam and bam and bam. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Mogar. Well. I'm going to use my bonus action to Hunter's Mark the right one. Ooh, okay. And with that, it's going to give me plus six damage uh, for the weapon attack. Uh, with Wait. Uh, one creature da damage from your weapon advantage as well. Uh, with, yeah, advantage on advantage wisdom perception and survival via the target. 
Okay, so not advantage on the attack. Only advantage on... Uh... Okay, so... Good, good. And I'm going to shoot my crossbow at it. Okay. So, uh, that's... Okay, let me... Are you... Wait, so just for clarification, are you going for the one that was just shot at or no, or the other one? Which one looks worse? Uh, the one that was just shot at. <laughs> okay, I put my hunter mark on that one as well. Got it. Roll one, the hit. Two, three, four. <clears throat> that is a 13. Miss. Damn Oof. it. <laughs> it. So that was my bonus action. Uh, since now I attacked, I'm going to have the dog charge and bite the one that was shot. Uh, we charge okay. now. All right. Roll to hit for the pupper. Okay. Uh, he's by he's plus five. Okay. One, two, three, four. For the pupper. How much? Dirty 20. Dirty 20 hit. Yeah. Damn. Okay, so that's 2d6 plus 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, 2, 2, 3, so that's 7 damage. Nice. Yeah, I'm, let, me just, let me just look at something real quick to make sure. Uh, Pact Active. The wolf has advantage on attack rolls against a creature if at least one of the wolf's allies is within five feet of the creature and the allies and get the camp as I did. Okay, so just saying, just being around a creature with pack tactics is good. Yeah. So, yeah. So, the, oh, no, the, I, the, the big, I, I the, had a campaign with folks the, with uh, two years ago. They had multiple companions cobalt. and it, it was broken. It was beautifully broken. <laughs> I mean, that's that's why they removed it from kobolds and goblins, I think. Mm. The Fury of the Small and shit. Uh, <clears throat> but anyways, yep. So that's the surprise round done, I'm guessing. Yep, surprise round is done. And actually, Mogar, uh, can you give me your full HP real quick? My HP Yeah, because is... the, the character sheet that you gave me, um, it doesn't have that filled in. Oh, okay. 42 and AC 16. 42, AC 16. Awesome. All right. I need to save that for myself. There we go. All right. Now, pop it around, Isari. What are we doing? Me. <clears throat> they already know we're here, right? Yeah, they already know that you're here. They've been punted <laughs> quite a decent now, bit. So Now's the uh, time to attack full on. They, they've been Deep shot at by multiple weapons. They have been shot well, at. They have been that they have, have just the now wind. started to like yell at you like. <laughs> so, which one's close to death again? Uh, the one that was shot by Jeremy. So Isari kind of starts. It looks like he's dancing almost. He's kind of wobbling over towards it so he can use an unarmed strike on it. Okay. Roll to hit. 24. 24 hit. Give me damage. Eight. Eight? Nice. J just for a little bit of theatrics, where and how are you wanting to attack him? Um, probably would have swooped in, like, kind of underneath it a little bit and tried to get it in the chest area. Okay. Yeah, you, as you are sweeping under, are you using a feather or a talon? Or, or, or a talon. wing or a talon? Okay, you ram a talon right into his rib cage. He howls out he still he still looks like he could take a good amount of damage but that definitely pissed him off a bit okay so you added your claw damage right also kinkus don't have wings only talents uh derp yeah, but also i want to do a flurry of blows bonus action okay 
Don't forget to count your key. <laughs> I know. I, that one counts my key, though. Hold on. That is one. <clears throat> oh, I saw that 25. Are we... Yeah. Yeah. 25. Yeah, that hits. Roll. Yeah. That's pretty good. Eight. Another eight. Whoo. Y'all see this Kenku come in like... What the hell? Like just <laughs> screeching as talons are going wild. Like just ramming into this fiend and s slashing into it with his claws as as this fucker is now screeching. You have gotten him like pretty decently beat up. He could still take quite a few hits from you guys, but he is definitely looking a lot worse than his friend. Focus on the one that's most injured. You take him <laughs> out, and then he's friend. All right, next up, we have the pupper. What are we doing for the pupper? He's going to bite bite a bitch again. Okay, roll a hit. <laughs> and, uh, okay. I, I, I have to scroll it from there. One, two, three, four, five. So that's a nine plus five. That's fourteen. Miss. Pupper okay. goes to try and wait. Adva wait a second. Oh. Wait a second. Advantage because pack deck this. Right. Yeah. Okay. One, Roll two, again. Three, four, five. Okay. Sixteen. Sixteen. I will say it goes to defender. So miss. Wait. No. Uh, if it meets it, it beats it. That's the indie rule. Okay. Fine. I'll revoke the defender rule. So I'll let you roll to hit. Okay. <laughs> I used to I used to use the roll goes to defender roll a few years back. That, that, that is so bad. <laughs> just just counting the book is okay. just bad. Okay. Because there are many clutch moments and high AC monsters, so it usually goes to the attacker. Fair. One, two, three, four. Six damage plus three, so that's nine damage. Yep, and you're going for the one that's been that's beat right. up most, yeah? Yeah. Got it. Oh boy, he is not looking good. Like, you're <laughs> starting to see, it's kind of the like, point. a lot of the wear. Like, y'all have been wailing on this one bad. Like, all the scratches from Isari's talons. Now the, now bite marks from from Mogar's companion. There is definitely some blood and open wounds on this fucker. The other one, he is looking near fit as a fiddle. <laughs> Alright, Kita. Yes? What we doing, buddy? I once once again, aim with I target Wait. the one that's oh, yeah. Wait a second. Uh, just, just, just uh, you hunters marked, right? Yeah, I don't I'm... have Hunter's Mark. You don't. W w w you didn't pick Hunter's Mark as one of the spells for Ranger. I'm the Ranger that heals. <laughs> <laughs> There's Still, no that, that, healers that is... here. I'm the okay. one who's gonna heal y'all. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm okay. Not okay. The <laughs> oh, okay. I was. I was just making. Uh, being I surprised that, like, a, I'm that the a one Ranger that heals. <laughs> I'm just surprised that a ranger didn't have Hunter's Mark. Okay. Kind of a... <laughs> oh. He's the one that heals. You're the one that kills. <laughs> <laughs> He's the bitch. I'm the Chad. <laughs> okay, <laughs> moving on. But Chad heals after all. Right. Chad's the one who heals. I, <laughs> I aim my longbow again at the one who's badly damaged. Okay, roll to hit. Oops. Let's see. Six. That is a 23. Hit. Give me damage. That is a 4. And quick question. Since the duration of the the hail forms is a minute does it go off again? It will go off again, yes. Which does mean, considering how close uh, y'all are, Oof. Um, I will say 
Because I know Everybody I know the dog. Duck. I know uh, the companion is in range. Both of the both of the fiends are in range. Sorry, you would be in range as well. Oh shit! Uh, everybody, duh, I've already dodged. Yeah, the only ones that would be out of range would be Jeremy and Kita still. So, yet, yeah, I need y'all to roll a deck saving throw. Those that and wait everyone... a second, is it con is Hail of Torms concentrate? Oh, let's see, up to a minute. So, hold on. In addition. Yeah. The spell creates a rain of thorns. It's about okay. A creature takes one d10 piercing damage on a failed save. The target of the attack and each creature within five feet. Let's see, it is okay. It is concentration. I'm not so seeing anything. Yeah, so I'm you, not seeing anything. If you drop anything. concentration, it, the the effect stops, and yeah. you won't be hurt. Yeah, yeah. I dropped the concentration from that. Okay, so that just saved everybody. <laughs> there we go. You're welcome. All right, and you, Ben. <laughs> yep. The, the damage was <laughs> on. Damage was how much again, Kita? Four. Four. And we're doing it on the one who is looking shitly, yeah. Yes. Got it. All right, now. Oh wait, it... wait, wait, wait! I forgot. Okay, what we got? It's not four. It's six because I got a plus two. Oh, okay. I'm one adding that. plus two. Got it. All right. I now can... I almost forgot. The one that is looking a lot better right now. He is not all that happy. So right now, what he's going to do is he's actually going to go for the pupper, and so actually he has a few attacks that are going to go in. First up, he has a claw. That's a nine. That misses. Because that was a nat one. <laughs> wait, you got a plus eight to a wait, hit? Wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. If it wasn't that one, do you want to make him fail dramatically? I will get to that when I see what um, the next roll is. We'll see what happens. So All right. the fiend comes in at first with his claw to try and go at the pupper. Like, pupper just bobs and weaves out of the way until um, he brings up a hoof and actually lands on the pupper dealing... Oh, where are you at? Let's see, eight, nine, ten. Thirteen points of damage just from the hooves. Yeah. 13. 13. Jeez. And then there, he still has... You know what? Considering for the failing dramatic, I will say the struggle to, like, balance makes him not able to do his third attack, so Pupper is lucky. Okay. And... The fucker, but okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Will be. Yep, okay, so that's all that I can do. But with the other one, because the other one that is just badly bruised, uh, he is going to, let's see, he is going to go for Isari and start just trying to wail on you. Uh, that is a 19. Star? Yeah, yeah, I'm here, sorry. 19. Does that hit? Yep. Yeah, it does. I have another okay. class of 17. Alright, first one. That did not count. Okay, first hit from Claws. Uh, you are very lucky. Was just seven points of damage. Oof. But there is an extra little bit of unfortunately because don't tell me these... there's poison no 
as you see uh, the claws come in towards you, Isar, you also notice sparks of lightning coming off. As not oh, only God. do you suffer the seven points of normal slashing damage, you also deal with 13 points of lightning damage. Oh boy, we really have to wail on the, the really hurt one to just get rid of it quick. We need to do both! Did yeah, yes, but if we get rid of one, we will suffer less attacks. Yes. Well, that's cool. What do you think of the healer? And that was just the claw. He still has two. What he still has other parts for his multi attack. Ah. Okay. Unfortunately, with that one, that also hits as a hoof comes in as he, like, front face donkey kick, like, donkey kicks your ass, dealing another nine points of damage. I love that! As he gets ready to swing his tail to, like, to, like, go for your flipping shins. And thankfully, misses. Oh, hey. We came in just as someone did their ass. Oh, Mari's almost dead. Oh, poor thing. Get, but I've also get behind the most me. Damage. Get behind me. All right, that is all for that one's attack. Jeremy, it is your go again. Kill it, squishy human. Squishy human. <laughs> Um, he is going to take another shot at the most damaged fiend. Right, roll a hit. Uh, and by the way, I was looking, I found the uh, the damage roll. Where are you finding the roll to hit? Roll to hit. So basically, when you look at your character sheet, mm -hmm. um, it's the hit slash DC. Your roll to hit, when you click on that... Like your modifier, your plus six, whatever. If you're doing it's the, your, the it's digital dice. the accuracy dice, of your attack. Yes. Gotcha. And where is hit DC? Hit DC, if you look at your character sheet, if you're looking at your like inventory and like your actions spot, gotcha. you see like the name of your weapon, it's range, right. and then it's hit slash DC. Also, um, a note, you roll, oh, you roll a d20 to hit. You roll your damage dice, your versatile damage dice, to hurt. No, I'm I'm seeing weight, quantity, and cost. You are in a different spot. I just sent you what you need to look for. Oh, is you're he, got okay. He's, he's action, he's on, right? Gotcha. Yes, okay. it's in your actions. Yeah, automatically. Specifically mm -hmm. for uh, okay. It it did not add when I added it in my inventory, but I will trust you for that yeah um so it is d20 plus six yes okay then that is 25 Woohoo! that is definitely a hit roll me damage all righty yeah th there it is there it all is now okay um and what what did I say it was the your you pistol? would use your automatic pistol earlier. Gotcha. And that is strikingly it's the only one that doesn't show up when I refreshed. Interesting. Uh, but it's 2d6 plus 3. Yeah. Oh cuz I haven't I don't have it equipped for some reason. <laughs> Wait. That would help. Okay, uh 2d6 <laughs> plus 3. Yep, yep. Is an eight. Nice. So for this action, he brings back his pistol, adjusts the sights a little, and then shoots again and shoots a bit more accurately. Yeah, you're able to get it this time square into this one's shoulder. It's now writhing in pain as viscera start viscera and sparks of lightning start to emit and just fall from his now open wound. Oh, what? 
Oh, ooh, you have branding smite. That's pretty fucking good. <laughs> I have, I have what now? You have branding smite on your character. That's pretty fucking good. You could you could basically add on to your damage uh, as a bonus uh, action, I... like after the damage. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I added all these like two a.m. two weeks ago. <laughs> well, so I... okay. So just just to for clarification, uh, you actually damaging a a, cre a creature. And then casting Branding Smite, you get an extra 2d6 damage on it. Yeah, th th that's just... <laughs> that's the gunpowder setting in to, to the wounds. Just... Is what that is. <laughs> go ahead and do it. Do it. Avenge me! Uh, <clears throat> when you say Viscera, is he, like, near dead? Or is it is he, like, a gust of wind away from... He is near, but he, like, it's still going to take a, a few hits, given your guys' strength to get him down, but he is definitely not looking good. Gotcha. Oh, in that case, you. in that case, I will do Branding Smite. Okay. I, I might be uh, the one to hit him off, actually, if yeah, he doesn't the die. Yeah, the next and actually, don't forget, you attack. do have your extra attack, Jeremy. Weapon Gleams and its Radiance. Now the damage is an extra 2d6. Uh, here we go. Okay. So just 2d6, that's all I'm worried about yep. at the moment. And you do have extra attacks, so while you cannot do dual wield, mm -hmm. you can still attack twice. Right. Um, Wait a second. So, so yeah, that, that Branding Smite is an 8. That Branding Smite is... Oh. Okay. Branding Smite... You didn't have to roll to hit for that one, right? No, because that is... Yep, okay. Yeah. And let me double check the effects of that. Next time you have a... Okay, so now yeah. when you, now when you send the, when this magic starts to emit from the, uh, from the gunpowder that's left in the wound, it. Oh. Add. Oh. Yeah. Add. Damn it. Of course, it would do it right this moment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I'll I'll say this again after the whole description ends, yeah. but. Uh, basically, as the uh, as as the the gunshot wound is radiating, there's also a beam of light coming from the gun itself that seem to connect. If you uh, if you were to look at both, and Ooh. if one were to look at the gun, you might see something wrong. And that's all I'll say on that <laughs> part. Huh. You know, I would have thought that Smite would have, would basically, uh, like the light of Smite would, of the Smite would burst out of the gun wound. You know, the bullet. Well, yeah, wound. It, yeah, it did, but it, there's there's also a similar light coming from the tip of the gun that would basically connect. Yeah, so I'm gonna be describing how the, like how the light is coming from the wound, but Jeremy is going yes and and giving extra info if you guys want to decipher that there is extra light uh, that seems connected to the smite from his mm. gun also i would mm. like uh, uh, just just as a just as a little detail road uh, i would like you to check the characters uh, if they're fiends the characters uh, weaknesses to see if they're weak to radiance that might actually double the damage from the branding smite yeah uh actually yeah. if Ad they're stone. fiends yeah, so from the looks of it, damage resistances, lightning, cold fire, damage immunities, poison. Um, Don't say it. Don't say it. Okay. <laughs> Don't say it out loud. Metagaming. Yeah. So I'm not seeing. Unless it's unless it's actually a in the book rule, but uh, I somehow doubt it. Yeah. Let me double check and let's see. No, only if the creature's stat block specifically says that they are weak or vulnerable to radiant. Okay. Yep, yep. All good. All right. So, since we are back from ads, uh, everyone, as you, as you see, Jeremy has set another shot to the the fiend that has taken the most damage. Uh, eventually, like you see, 
a beam of light start to radiate from the hole from the wound as it expands the as like cracks of light expand against uh the lightning that is surging from the wound as well making uh yeah. the creature wail you do also have your extra attack still jeremy yes um he nods looking uh, approvingly at his work on the one fiend and sets his sights on the other one as he has another attack. Sorry, I, I just opened it back up. Yeah, yeah. It, it, um. Uh, yeah, bonus action. Da, 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 da. Yeah, extra attack. He can attack twice rather than once. Okay. Yep, yep. So yes, he, he will then aim his gun slightly to the left and shoot at the other at the other fiend. Roll to hit. It is a 19. Hits. 2d6. That is a 9. 9 points of damage. As you send another shot uh, to this one, out of curiosity, are you trying to aim at a particular spot just for theatrics? Um... As the fiend has been running around the field a bit, what side, where is he re in relation to Jeremy? Uh, in relation to Jeremy, I would say, especially um, diagonal from you, uh, I would say, Excuse me. like space-wise, it's about 15 feet diagonal between the two of you. Gotcha. Excuse me. It, yes. Mm -hmm. Sorry, uh, I just wanted to say, just in case it ends up being my turn. I'm going to take Mishka out real quick to potty, so I'm yeah. just going to mute. Okay. Yeah. 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 We have a little bit for... We have Mogar uh, before you, and if we need to, I can have it to where your action is, hold, is held until you're back. They've already gone. Okay. Well, I guess we're, we'll do that then. Uh... <laughs> um, but yeah, no, um... I just muted. I heard you. Okay, thank you, Gob. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, and I'm just wondering, can I do Branding Smite on this as well? No, one no, bonus yeah. action per turn. Yep, that's what I figured. Yep, I yep. just read that. Yeah, it is one okay, bonus then, action per turn, unfortunately. Then yeah, would, in that case... Wait, wait, wait to overkill. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, I figured. Uh, but no, as he, as he turns slightly to the left, uh, his finger brushes up against a small button on the trigger and hits it once before shooting uh, at the chest of the other fiend. Whew, okay. You get a decent hit um, right at the cool. upper chest, the upper chest, very close to the clavicle what? as oh, no, as okay. he is very much not happy. Um, starting to show Maybe signs yeah, of know. being war-torn. Is that, is that or it's in, the, it's in your car, but... Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Uh, I didn't realize I wasn't on mute. <laughs> yeah. All good. Uh, well, since uh, Jeremy doesn't have any more that he can do, Mogar, here go. Okay. What I'm going to he get? I'm gonna drop my uh, crossbow on the ground since it's unloaded, safe to drop. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stick the dog on on the back, dirty if he still kicks afterwards. You and are I'm going a bit, so I wasn't able to oh. get much of that. Okay. <clears throat> I will drop my crossbow. Got it. Pull pull out my my axe, and I am going to attack, jumping off the boy, and basically at the. F the freaking uh, centaur fiend. Yeah. To try and well, and uh, I will be raging. Ooh, okay, let's so go. I'm freaking mad and I'm 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 but I'm going to be in its face. Okay. Center of attention, boy. Yeah, and, and I'm assuming you're going for the one that's dealt with the most damage. Yes. Got definitely. it. Definitely. 1 2 3 4 Okay, so that's 14 plus 7. That's I'm a 21, assuming. so that hits. 
Yeah. Nice. Okay, here comes the fun part. So, 1d8 plus 1d6 because of the hunter's mark plus 10 damage. Like, overall, no matter the roll of the dice, there's at least 10 damage going in. Oh. Well, at least 12 damage going in. So, okay, time to roll the fucking dice, boys. Let's go. One, three. Okay. So, 18 damage. How much damage? How much? Oh, 16 damage, yes. 16. 16. Whoo -hoo, boy. He is now looking like he is one foot in the spirit world. He is so close. <laughs> Small bird, finish them off. I will go towards the other one. <laughs> My beast will assist you. Which small bird are you referring to? The one not in the cage. I see. <laughs> Isari was... Yeah, so Isari is AFK right now, so I will say... I mean, it's just... still in character. Just yeah. don't worry about it. But for... Just so that we can get the ball rolling. Pupper. What's Pupper doing? <clears throat> he would be rolling to attack. Well, then roll the head. <laughs> A nice fiendish chew bone. <laughs> oh, you're going to love this. Guess. Give it to me. Do we got our nat first nat 20? 20 baby. Let's go. Our first oh, nat 20 boy. of the night. Let's what go. Okay, so that's going to... Oh, okay, so let me just go back to the demo. Let go. Okay, so 2D... Is use the dice tower. Okay. That is a seven, so double damage, seven plus seven. Fourteen. Uh, Fourteen damage. Oh you <laughs> Unfortunately Pupper has stolen his sorry thunder well, as well. Okay, it... well Rode uh, yeah. describe the kill. I'm okay, so Isari, as you are like struggling to like just keep conscious at the moment, you see that you see M Mogar. Have you figured out a name for the pupper? Warg. Warg. You see Warg. He said it at the beginning. Yeah. You <laughs> yeah. see Warg just charge over at the feed that is struggling to keep up. He chomps right at this fucker's side and rips out bone and flesh and muscle. This fucker then just in a final screech in pain keels over and falls like just to the side an open gash wound as Warg holds the viscera in his mouth like triumphantly. Good dog. Big Take puppy. a risk. Big, big puppy. Uh, Isari, what are you wanting to do? There's still one fiend that has taken a decent bit of damage, but is definitely angry. If I you, I'll come over here in order to heal. I was gonna say, I would... Is it possible to heal and attack at the same time? Uh, if you... So when it comes... If you're wanting to use a potion, that's gonna have to use an action. No, 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 I mean, like, if I move over to... <clears throat> was it? If you move Zika? over to Kida, you're gonna have Kida. you're gonna have to deal with an attack of opportunity from the living fiend. Oh. Mm. Oh. I... Yeah, well, okay, so what I'm gonna do is, because I know I'm close to um, Mogar, I'm probably gonna stay behind him, but only slip out to do darts, like, to throw darts again. Okay. Yeah, d keeping your distance while your health is low. Very smart. Yeah. Yeah. 14. 14 miss. And then I go back behind Mogar. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Switch aside. Kita, what have we got? I once again take my take up my longbow and fire at the remaining fiend. All right. Give me a roll to hit. Oh, 
Oh shit! Nat one? Nope. Four. Oh. Plus seven. That that is. Yeah. That's, that's eleven. One. That is a miss. You go to that. You go to a shoot an arrow, but the panic of seeing like he's sorry in the state that he's in makes you lose your grip a little bit. It shoots and the and, and the arrow like lands perfectly between some of the bars of the cage that Sweetie Pie is in. Okay. Okay. Second Almost action. Your own bird. <laughs> Second action. Feel? I have two actions. Second action. I go shoot again. Okay. Roll to hit. Oh, dear. Rolls in that one. Oh, snap! Oh. Did you roll that one? Nope. Let's see. I definitely got a hit right there. Okay. That is a 24. Yeah, that definitely hey. has given to me. Reverse psychology jinxing. <laughs> Max damage! Let's go! Ooh, that is 10. 10 that's points good. of damage. Let's go. Nice. Kitty! <laughs> Shoot him! <laughs> yeah. Don't it, Bert? Alright. So, this one, since it's now this fiend's turn, he is not happy, especially now that he has an arrow just right at his Can collarbone. I... Could, could I do a little thingy? Go for it. Oh, dear. I wanna make my I want to make myself the target, so I'm gonna war cry at it. Just... Oh, oh. Just ba banging my my, my uh, arm on my chest with my axe, like come at, come at me, bro. Uh, first one. <laughs> I, 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 I'm hiding. You sure you want to make yourself you. the center of attention? I want to let you. I want to let you stop hiding behind. Well, don't stick to my back. I want to let y'all know that the first roll. Hold on, I need to find the right thing. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, first, first it's I, I'm assuming I'm gonna get hit, yeah. It's a nat 20. Okay, uh -huh. do, you, do you give the, do you give criticals to your enemies? Occasionally, because like- Depends it's, on how funny it is. Depends on how funny it is. Cause also thematically, think of it this way. It's like, Rawr! like get, get at me. He's like, okay, bet. Ne neck snaps as he I mean, stares hey, at you I, red eyed. I, I am I'm raging right now, so he had I'm not it coming. too worried. <laughs> I'm not too worried. I'm raging. Yeah, and thankfully this is the first attack, so it's not nearly as strong compared to the other two. But I need to grab more yeah. d4s. Oh, how many do you have? Fuck it. As, as many as somebody needs. Uh, <clears throat> 17 points of damage and halved halved okay so 17 we will round it down so 8 cause yeah rage is pretty fucking good yep but there's still also the lightning damage wait wait a second w how many, much damage was it it was 17 halved rounding it down would be 8 Okay. But Wait, that eight? that's just the slashing damage. That's not including the lightning damage. He is rounded down. Okay. I mean, I'm I'm rounding it down just to try and be kind to you because there's a lot of damage. No, I'm in this I'm, I'm, I'm actually I'm doing math in my head. Like, is that really rounded down? Yes. But I notice it's a odd number, so yeah. <laughs> All right, and then from the lightning damage. Okay, so. That's another six points of damage from the lightning. Okay. And that's already halved for you. Well, I'm basically almost at half, uh, at half health. Yep. And he's still got a multi-attack, so he is going to try and donkey kick you. And that misses. I am the tank. 
I take damage. And now he's going with his tail to try and get you. How many how many attacks does he have in he, one go? He has one claw oh, attack, one hooves attack, and one serrated tail attack. Uh This is why oh, I'm oh, dying! Wait, wait a second, wait a second. Yeah, I, I just his, have to mention. In, I'm okay. I believe that yes, creatures have like multiple attack stats, but a multi-attack usually counts for like claws and stuff like that. It doesn't mean that they are all going to use this all going to use the attack. Let me quote gonna... from the monster sheet. Multi-attack. Wow. They can make one claw attack, one host attack, and one serrated tail attack. So it's all three. Okay. This okay, is why I'm dying? Yeah. <laughs> well, I was just m trying to make it clear. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Yep, yep. And, who oh boy. Yeah, the, the serrated tail does hit. That is a 20 to hit, which I know beats your AC. Yeah. Oh, well, there went my little light. Here we go. Stay. As I now have to figure out damage. Oh, you're lucky I rolled low with those. Wait a second. It did two claw attacks, right? No, one claw, one hoof, one serrated tail. But it missed the the hooves. Yeah, it it did the claw, it missed the hooves, and now it it hit with a serrated tail. Wait. Is... It still does I, all I three. I, okay, I got damage. I was damaged already twice. So. Yeah, because with the claw, you got slashing and lightning damage. Oh, wait a second. Half damage. Oh, um, just just as a as a slight note, I don't I don't take half damage from uh, elemental attacks. Only bludgeoning, piercing, slashing. Okay, so add six more points of damage for you then. Okay. Now I'm now I'm just one point off from uh, half health. <laughs> but you are very lucky that um, the tail rolled low on damage so that is 10 points of damage round so halves will be five okay so minus five to that that would be 17 yep and now since from 40 to 17 yeah <laughs> since all of his attacks are done jeremy Wait. Yeah, I rolled all the attacks for the fiend. The other no, one no, is no, dead. Did we skip my turn? No, you you had yours. Wait. No, no, we we, we I, wait. no we I, we did. He sorry because oh, the darts. Was, yeah, we the darts. Did. yeah, the darts. Okay, never mind. Oh right, right, right. I'm yeah. sorry, I forgot. Again. Yeah, because the darts missed. Jeremy. I'm here. All right. Use it's your that, go. That, those are multi attacks of yours. So he does the very same as before, just a double attack. He cocks back his automatic pistol for a uh, twelve to hit. Twelve was that in? Okay, that was including your modifier. Yep, that misses. Yeah. Yeah, it's figured. He uh, he aims to shoot, but uh, something happens with his gun that causes him to just look at it, smack it a bit, and then with his double attack, he tries again. Right now, <laughs> for a thirteen. <laughs> the second time, like Jeremy, you go like first time you fire, it see like it misses like whooshing over. Uh, the side of the fiend's head. You're like, what the fuck? You smack it a few times. You go to shoot again. Same thing, just opposite side of the fucker's head. <laughs> he, he looks at his gun in just disbelief as he smacks it again, twists the, the tip of it, turns it around in his hands, and if anyone is looking, the colors seem to shift all over it. <laughs> Mogar. 
that is, of course, the end of his turn. Yep, Mogar, so gonna... your go. Let me just check up something. Uh. Okay. Something to matter? Hunter sense, but yeah, no, 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 just checking something. You are killing us, road. <laughs> oh wait, focus your fire. Slayer's prey. Oh, that's added to. Ooh, okay. Bonus actioning, since it's not a spell. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. Okay, as bonus action, you designate one creature you see within 60 feet as you as target of this feature. The first time each turn. So this, if I did add the uh, Hunter's Mark for, okay. So basically it functioned as a, a secondary Hunter's Mark. Okay. Ooh. Okay, hunt players prey on this bish. Uh, I'm gonna go attack it. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going, yep, yep. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. 17. That hits. Okay, so I'm gonna do my D and okay, so I have my range dueling. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that is a five plus ten, uh, fifteen damage. Fifteen damage. That is a hefty boy. Yeah. The consistency of my damage is what's good. Yeah. And I will... Let's see. Do I have anything else I can do? No, I cannot. Okay. Oh, good, all good, all good, all good. All right. I'm running low on stamina. <sighs> Kill it fast. He's sorry. <laughs> Fungus attack. It's all or nothing. I wait to darts again. You're gonna do darts. Roll to hit. Oh, it hits 26. Ooh, that is beautiful. Seven damage. Seven damage. Let's go. Now you can definitely tell from the from this next set of darts, he is not looking too good. He is like he is struggling to like keep his torso up. Now a look of like confidence is ray and rage has now started to shrivel into pain. Now for Warg, what are we doing for the boy? Warg. Yeah, like good Hold down its tail. <laughs> I'm gonna ask him to bite on its tail to fucking hold it in place so I can't use it. Oh boy, roll, <laughs> roll to hit. Well, technically a bite, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna ask him not to let go. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, 13 plus five. That's, that's 18, so that hits. Okay. I'm going to do the, his damage. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. Okay, so that's eight plus three, 11 points of damage. Nice. Now, oh. unfortunately, when Warg does go down to chomp on the tail, he does like obviously hit and bite it and the fiend is not happy but it is serrated so yeah. i will need so i will need warg then can you roll a quick i'm trying to think on the spot like what would be a sensible throw for that though i i believe that okay would it be okay either a Athletics? I, th I think it would be athletics. Athletics would be the more of like like trying to hold it. Yeah, I, I could see that. Especially, yeah. So roll athletics. 
there's nothing else that can work like yeah at, at, for it. <laughs> okay. Boom. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so unfortunately it's not too great, but it is a ten, an average roll. Ten. I actually rolled as well for a contest, and the fiend rolled less. So thankfully, Mogar does not take any extra damage from having little spiky spikes in his mouth. Oh, you mean you mean uh, Warg? Yeah. Okay. You said so, Mogar. Derp, I <laughs> yeah. meant Warg. So wait, the tail is now. The tail off? is serrated. Yeah, it's a serrated <laughs> tail. Now that's one attack less. Just that saying, is one it. attack less, exactly. All right, Kita. Okay. Once again, I take my longbow to shoot at the fiend. Roll to hit. Don't hit bird. Don't hit bird. <laughs> shut up. If you say it, it might happen. You should have shut up. Oh no. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Five plus. One sec. I did miss, but it's not a nat one, thankfully. Oh, it's thank five you. plus seven. <laughs> That is a 12. That is a 12. So, yeah, it does miss. You do shoot. It just, like, breezes past uh, his like, his arm. This time, thankfully, not getting anywhere near Sweetie Pie or the cage. Whew. Okay. I rolled to attack again. Okay. That is an 18. Ooh. Ooh that hits. And that's a six. Six points of damage. Pretty good. Pretty good. Nice. Oh, okay. Goodness. So now, since you are still like right at him, Mogar, uh, this fiend yep. will try and attack you again. First with his claws. Yep. Up. Oh, add. Oh, add. What are we adding? It's, no, it's Fortnite. Oh. It's Fortnite ads. Oh, wait, yeah, ad. that's not Fortnite. <laughs> Damn it, Fortnite! No, I, I got Sony. Wait, I, wait, I'm not. Sh I'm not sure if it's Fortnite. <laughs> It'll uh, Fortnite. It's a gun game. There's Valorant. Uh, Valorant? You think? Yep. Or Overwatch. I've got, I've got Sony. Or like uh, Valorant. Yeah. yeah, it's most likely Valorant. Uh, the finals, the Reach, the Falls, Xbox Series. No, it just. Talks about a competition, I guess. Yeah. Oh wait, I think there's some there's a competition going on for Fortnite. Nah, it would definitely not Fortnite. The graphics too high. Uh <laughs> well now it's McDonald's and now a thick ass pear. Mech. A what? Yeah, it's a it's a hemorrhoid ad for gamers. <laughs> a what? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I'm not kidding. They literally put a pair with headset, headphones, and uh, like a, a controller. Yeah. Oh, and now it's banking. Great. Uh, oh, what the fuck kind of ads are you getting? Uh, multiple. <laughs> okay, now it's back for me. <laughs> yeah, I see that we have about like three seconds left. Okay. I have what? ten seconds. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Well, hold on. Okay, I'm free. Okay. So. They're, they're smart. Th those creatures are smart, though. They're not spreading the attacks between everybody. Right. <laughs> they're focusing. Out. They're focusing. <laughs> Speaking of. Oh, you were so lucky that Claw misses, but he still has his lucky. hooves. And that. That hits with a 24. Yeah. Mm. So definitely half that though if it's a if it's a hoof. Yep, yep. Because it's bludgeoning. So Yeah. So 14 half that is 7. 7. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so that's going to oh, give me Oh, if the target is large or small, it must succeed on a strength saving throw or be knocked prone. So give me a strength throw. I'm considered large. God, that, okay, one, one minute, one minute. I got, I gotta. Okay, so four minus three, so 
So I'm at 17 right now. Okay. A strength saving throw, right? Yep, yep. Oh, I am so thankful that I am proficient in strength. <laughs> okay. And that's a 10, 17. You hold steady. Ooh. You are not knocked prone. I look at it dead in with my dead eye. Oh, and God. Just, hold, just, just blocking with one hand the foot. Because I just realized like, I should have had everyone else like roll for yeah. that as well, but fuck it. Oh, well. <laughs> I, oh yeah. You see Don't Mogar me, basically hold... <laughs> you basically see Mogar hold, holding on tied to his axe while blo blocking the hoof. I will not die to a weak enemy like you. <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> oh, what are you munching on? Muffin. That's what I say. What? Are you, did you say muffin <clears throat> or nothing? I'm munching on my gun. Oh, what? <laughs> You've heard of a sawed-off shotgun? This is a butt bit off shotgun. <laughs> no. Makes it, uh, makes it aim a bit more accurately. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I have it. Do not buy on the end of a shotgun. You don't know how strong my teeth are. <laughs> I know how how durable uh, human teeth are, though. <laughs> who says I have human teeth? Anyways. You're a human! Who says I'm human? Um, <laughs> on that effect, okay, roll ahead. Just gonna do the same thing after banging my gun for a solid six seconds. Just gonna try again. Finally, at twenty-four. Is, is, it, uh, is, is, is the human okay? <laughs> Only one way to find out. On their uh, Eleven damage. Eleven. That's your nice. first attack. Yep. Do you smite? Uh, not on this one. No, oh, no. I know I should because the next one could probably miss, but. Uh, second shot he is a 23. That hits. Ooh. To which it will do 10 points of piercing damage plus uh, what was it? It was ready to smite which is a, an extra 2d6. That is an extra nine radiant damage. It has been a long time since I've said this as a DM. Baby, tell me how it ends. Oh my god. So, <laughs> after the horrid show of missing both of his shots, he twists a few knobs on his gun. It flickers a few different colors until it turns into an old an old western style revolver. Yeah. As he as he smirks, points the gun shoots once and pierces the fiend in the chest and as it turns around to look at him he spins around a full 360 before taking a step forward pointing the gun once more hitting the button by the trigger once again shooting the fiend <laughs> making a third I just hole heard that little giggle in the background what the fuck was that <laughs> That's Michael Jackson. Making a third <laughs> hole in his chest as it and the gun start radiating that beam of light once more. And with the final beam of the of light coming from this last hit on this fiend, you all see it start to actually grow as the light expands and forces the wound to grow as the creature is writhing in pain as it continues farther and farther until eventually light com light completely fills the room you have to shield your eyes for a moment but when it fades and you're able to like not shield your eyes anymore that fiend is just gone uh, are, are we sure he's human? Jeremy smirks again yeah. T takes the gun, points it upwards, and metaphorically blows on the smoke as it comes out and puts the impossibly large gun back into his small jacket pocket. This is not a human! I, I gotta get me one of those! And we are Stop. now out of it initiative. 
I'm gonna go grab the bird cage and pry it open. <laughs> the, there's no, you yank the the door off of what flimsy hinges there are as the bird just careens out and goes straight for Kita. Sweetie Pie, there ah! you are. Ah! Elf <laughs> child, heal me, please. <laughs> okay. Wait, how do you... Can you heal? Yes, yes, I can. Well, in any case, we're gonna... Hold on your... to your healing. The combat is over. We don't need to heal right now. I, we only I, need to rest. <laughs> As I, they're just, I, like, I, half dead on the ground. I, I, no, I, we I, don't I, need I, to heal. Listen, listen, I'm holding my chest from a, from a, from gashes and I'm, I'm looking to all of you with, with dead seriousness. For now, we have time to rest. Near the end. Yes, we have killed the enemies. As long as there are no others coming along, we should be fine to rest and recover. With Healing the mention is only for emergency. of rest. You feel the air change again as there's no more enemies around, but you definitely feel the presence of something. Oh dear. As you hear a voice bellowing, making the room around you shake. In a specific says, direction? No, it's just all all around you. Mm. As it says I have a few questions for you four. Not Ominous including. voice. Don't like. It, not enjoying. Not fan. Quiet. I'm trying to listen. No. Who Shush, little bird. Are you? We were travelers who have landed in this world by a room. Jeremy Unknown. taps his temple twice once more and brings out his red notebook again. I could ask you the same thing. Antagonize uh, not the voice we know not of. Yeah, who the heck are you? Uh, well, somebody seems to be behind on their homework. Yeah. Doctor. Human? Oh, shit. It's a great big universe out there. I'm learning as much as I can. And for starters, I'd like to learn about where I am right now. You are in my domain. The yes, domain... I understand that part. Where exactly is that? The domain of silence. Now, if you would heed to my domain and adhere to my silence, you may finally get some answers. Shush. It's a good Go ahead. A bit. But I still have my own questions. Because I know why you're here, even if you don't know why. I've brought you here for a reason. But that is for me to know. And for you to find out, should you be worthy. Now my and if second... we're not? If you're not, you'll end up like the one that you found not even... A few minutes ago. Fair enough. Now, my second question to you all. How and why does one fight? That's <laughs> freedom mm. protection. To, to protect survive. others. Yeah, survival mostly. Also, it's it's very That's good it. learning material. I see. Protect others, protect oneself, and survive. Every creature in existence fights for survival, either to kill and feed, or to protect and live. Or a pursuit of knowledge, as your wayward friend has said. No friend, friend of human. Intriguing observation. Now. My third question. Yes? True or false? 
Oh you. god. The worst pain is from one's mate. Mate? Have no mate. Heartbreak. Define oh. mate. Soulmate. A friend who you would traverse the eons through. Insanity be, be damned. Family. This no. feels like a trick question. I've had... They're asking for the pain of a mate. I would say heartbreak. And what would you no know? Mate. And what would you know of heartbreak? You I... pride yourself of being a, 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 a warrior on the battlefield, calling yourself one that cares not for those around you <laughs> enough to cause the bloodshed a... that others cry as a port. I have heard the word, but only recently learned its meaning, for I had a mate once, but that was long ago. And yet the they... pain could never linger? It is not in my nature to let it linger. Orcat, mate? <laughs> uh, yes, orcs fuck. Moving on. <laughs> yes, my little friend. Yes, I do. For those that have had the privilege of a mate would you have considered them your song family close protect family fight to protect family uh, could you can you repeat that road i'm i'm not sure if i heard the right words song would you have considered them your song i considered them everything so you admit that you have lost everything indeed you and I don't seem too different then because I believe in time you may have a chance to find your song again as I hope I... to find mine However, I will only find my song when I die in glorious battle against a worthy opponent. You will find Dear. a worthy opponent yet. I know in due time all of you will reach your perfect fate, should you choose it to be so. But that would be when you are home. For now you are with me. And I need your help. Why help Scary Voice? You've got a difficult way of showing that. Because I companions. brought you into my domain and I alone can bring you back home. I have tried to seek aid from those before, but their minds were not ready. Have you precious item? I'm Many. missing something. Uh, you're uh, worse than a magpie. No! <laughs> Precious item! Uh, now, uh, when you speak of help, and you brought us into your domain, why not into the real world or outside of your domain? Why keep us here? Because my song is missing she is a crafty song one sung by countless people that keep her alive i know she is here and i miss her and i need her found need because not you bard for that she is not just any ordinary bard she is the keeper of songs, the bringer of all sagas, the chaos that goes against my very core, and yet I long for it whenever it is away. 
and I need her again. Orc understands big words. Oh boy. Help me find my song, and I will give you what you most desire and bring you home. Honestly, it's... those are one and the same right now. I'm happy to Precious learn, item. but I'm also happy to go home. Precious items indeed for those that seek. But first, right. find my song. Describe us. A nightingale. Describe song lady. She is a nightingale in a broken <clears throat> cage. You will know Look. when you see her. Is she going to chill us? She won't. She's a pacifist. Unlike me. She wouldn't you hurt someone even job. she wouldn't hurt someone even if she knew that someone was out to get her. And I have to be the one to protect her. Valiant deeds. Noble mm, effort. Interesting. Do a good job of killing you do. Oh, I don't <sighs> kill here. In any case, I believe we've heard enough not to cut your story short, but first we rest, and then we can yes. move on in full strength to find your song. And yeah, the freedom. longer the monologue, the less I trust you, so thanks, we'll get going in the morning. Uh, As a token, <laughs> given the happenings that, recent, that recently befell you, you see a chest uh, very slowly apparate uh, amongst you guys. I will walk towards it slowly. And oh, I'll fall behind Mogar. Jeremy just, just hobble over. I'm sorry. Uh, so somebody said my name. What? <laughs> I'll fall behind you. I said. All right. Jeremy and I stands just hobble back. after you. Right. Jeremy stands back looking at the chest and presses his right temple. I, I, I would look up before putting my hands on the chest. Mm, a reward for a recent victory. Indeed. We'll open the chest looking on to what lies before us. What lies before you is a labyrinth of my song's own making. She doesn't know what she's doing, and yet she has created the creatures that have come to harm you. These creatures, she says, are to keep her safe, but I know what's best for her. And because what she is doing is only bringing harm to everyone around her. Mm. Hmm. Oh. Road. For some reason, I have a feeling that this is the uh, is kind of an analogy for something else. Maybe no. a toxic relationship. Really? Maybe <laughs> mental disorder. So, like mental constructs. I don't know. Something feels off. Considering <laughs> yeah. the trigger warnings that have been that have been plastered on stream. I was gonna say, yeah. I mean, am I, am I near? Am I close? It's a tiny bit of metagaming, but yeah, I think I think I see the big picture. Yeah, I'm not saying <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying anything. And also try and be sure that if your characters would see this line of logic, that it would come naturally to them. Oh yeah. 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 No, I think for now what? it probably might be Jeremy uh... that would probably have it. Says Jeremy seems the mo to be the most uh, intuitive. Yeah, he's got the books. He do got the books. Cool. <laughs> Anyways, literally all the books. <laughs> no, j just six. Just in his magical I mean, coat pocket. Wait, okay, okay. So you own six books oh, coming in, right? One more time. You you own six books coming into the session, right? Correct. 
So that's so seven you have, with so, including the journal. Yeah, exactly. Yes. That I'm not including because that's in the uh, left jacket pocket and not the right. Ah. Uh, okay. He has a special uh, place so for all only, six in the right. Well, so far he's only used the red, the black, and the green, green. notebook. Mm. What's next, purple and blue? <laughs> I'll never tell. Because there's <laughs> nothing Maybe yellow. to tell. Anyway. Okay. Mm. So, I'm right. sorry. Um, Jeremy, I know that you are... I'm assuming that you're trying to investigate the... Or what are you trying to figure out when it comes to, to the chest? Right now, he has stood back, still writing in his red journal, but is inspecting from a distance and has tapped his right temple once. Oh, okay. But continues to write. Hmm. So is this a map road that we're seeing? What do you mean? Well, describe again what we, th we see in the chest. So what you are seeing in the chest, so there are, um, there are currently three potions of greater healing, uh, four and no, just two potions of like minor healing. Okay, but two there potions is of minor healing. Yeah, but there is there is a rather bloodied uh, map that seems to be uh, drawn from someone before you guys had entered here, detailing mm -hmm. a bit of a rudimentary uh, kind of look at what comes ahead of you. Uh, it does appear that they do draw a large um here let me just actually show it to y'all on screen hmm. okay well definitely gonna say this ooh ooh so we're at the we're, we're at the so front we're you were here this is where you all began those are the steps this is where you are currently now you have this, this, and this final room. Mm. We have time to rest, <laughs> since these are more like trial rooms. I, I, I give the map to the white coat. Voice and... in air, are you watching us constantly? Will that make it hard for you to sleep? No. No. Just checking. No. It, I I, gra I grab the potions, and like, full on just sh sh showing to people, we will hold on to these for emergencies. For now, we we will only keep them if we need more healing. This work is quite smart. Yes, yes. Stop putting it. <laughs> emphasis on that. I'm <laughs> old and experienced. As, now, as as Jeremy takes the map, he puts it in between a few of the pages of his red book and continues put, to write. The orc puts it in his uh, in his puts the potions in his pouch his, and he, he just chooses a nice corner and with the dog just lays lays down. <laughs> And Isari's just basically going to go flop on the floor. White coat. Chest. Have you been hit at all in the previous fight? He looks over his lab coat and shakes his head. No, pretty good. All right, you keep first watch. All right, if you assume so. Uh, so he, op he opens up his jacket a bit and uh, kind of swipes his tool belt as if it's swirling around him until it gets to uh, number 587. He takes out a small pellet, throws it to the ground, and up comes a chair with a stand and a book rest. And he sits and watches. Do we trust a human? Yes. Why not? Eh, yeah, might as well rest. Ugh. Sleep. Sleep, anxious bird. You will need your strength. Eh. 
Yes. Uh, so I'm guessing we we all agree. Short rest. Short rest or long rest? I don't know. Are we doing a short rest or are we doing a long short. rest? The long rest too long. Short rest. Okay. Short rest works for me. All right. Short rest it is. Short rest. All right. So while the others are asleep, Jeremy. Mm-hmm. While while being the only one awake you start to remember certain things related to the cult with the like hourglass symbol a few things are starting to return to you they seem to call to an entity known as the silence a formidable primordial being that to the coal is connected to the void gotcha that is the most of what you can remember right at the top of your head are you wanting to roll to see if you can discern any more um at the moment uh as he's remembering this he takes out both his green book and black book and starts to write notes in between specifically uh like um reference black book page 53 and reference green book page 507 and such mm. um but otherwise that is that's fine okay um in the meanwhile um he puts away the green book takes out the blue and white books and starts to discern notes in his red book which is on the book stand as he's writing okay okay and i will uh, only oh an ad break <laughs> oh. oh good and... timing too because this... i just heard them in there um, i'm just gonna roll my head dice <laughs> All good. Uh, I will only, um, I'll only give more as to what he does during the short rest if anyone happens to wake up and look at what he's doing. Yeah. And don't forget, it's Amber. Yeah. Yeah. I'm tired. On. No, I thought it was still on. Turned it off. Okay. So. All right. Is anyone? Oh, it's an ad break. Oh. Yeah, I've been trying Sorry. to say that. Yeah, you might hear a little bit of scuff because the nuclears are in the office and wanting to do stuff. Okay. The music from the ad is contrasting heavily to the music <laughs> from the. Whatcha rolling? I'm just practicing rolling and all that. It's different type of rolls. Yay. Oh fuck! I should have practice. <laughs> what? Guess, guess well, what? Guess hey. what? 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 Why I think I said, "Oh fuck! I shouldn't have practice." What did you roll on that one? No. That's twenty. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just take that as your next roll. Uh, well, whatever it okay, may be. Just, just saying. Uh, does anybody? Does everybody know how to short rest? Yes. Yes. Okay, just making sure. I'm not. I'm not sure. Like, I don't know your all you guys' level of experience, so I'm trying to be helpful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I got full health on my uh, oh. on my health dice. Woohoo! Bad break is over. Nice. Yeah. All right. Was anyone going to wake up? I'm still uh, pretty much awake. I, uh, I'm gonna wake up. Uh, oh wait a second. I have to do the hit dice for the puppy. Oh yeah. <laughs> or does the dog just fully heal because Oh wait, no. Level five. Oh yeah, no, he he has dice. Okay. Uh, let me just roll those. Yeah, yeah. Uh wait. Uh 
Ah, there we go. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that is four plus four plus eight. Wait, so eight plus sixteen. Roji. What? Okay. I'm my dog. My actual dog. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that's plus six, so that's two, and seven plus six, that's thirteen, right? Yep. Okay, three, okay, so the dog's missing only four points of health. He's Dang! Fine. Power, power, sleep, motherfucker. <laughs> power heal. Nice. And, and I would say look at that. Asari's nope. awake, but um. Oh, and uh, by cool. the way, Road. Yes. Do you do you allow the one uh, D and D's rule of uh, rage restores on short rest? I'll allow it for this go. <laughs> all right. Thank you. I prefer to have all my abilities. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say um Isari's going to be awake but he's still lying on the ground and keeping his eyes closed but he's alert. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's more so is anyone noticing Yeah, I, Jeremy and what he's doing. I I've been awake and all of it just wondering what the cuz I still have four hit points and all that just wondering what the heck is going on here? on there and why and how the heck did you got pull those out as as you wonder this jeremy blinks twice and lifts up his widow's peak and seems to take a glow of light from his forehead and puts it into a spot on the spine of his red journal as he flips over to the back and it expands a little i'm sorry what <laughs> you heard me no, uh, I'm not sure if I understand. Well, if... Okay, I heard, but I didn't understand. If you want more, you gotta investigate. Ooh. Okay, I'm just. I'm, and if you I want just... to investigate, you gotta In... stealth. Can I incite you? Because. All right. Well, better question is: Is Morgar awake at this point? Yes, he's okay. fully healed. Okay. Feels better. Can I just, like, I want to feel for what he's doing like his current emotional state that's what insight does like, yeah so i'm i'm gonna roll something and top hat you you decides if it's good enough right yeah okay one two three four five okay 17 plus five so that's 22 <laughs> okay as you watch him perform this impossible act of bringing a beam of light from his forehead, you get the sense that he's alert. That he is... He knows that he is in danger, but is choosing to stay calm and taking this moment of rest to gather his thoughts. Ogar seems content at this. Honestly, like, nodding in very... Like, like approval? Approval. Yeah, approval. Because that's the right fucking mindset to have. Yeah. <laughs> in any situation. So, Mogar slowly wakes from his slumber, like, stretching a bit, checking his wound as it's just scarred. Hmm. All right. Just patches his clothing a bit, waiting to see if everybody... While he waits for everybody to be ready. Hmm. Anyone else want to insight? <laughs> Anybody else wants to wake up? Basically, this is an invitation that I I read top hat like a like a flipping book. He wants you to right. prod him. All right. Oh, is yeah, top hat I can... the edgy the edgy role player that is in the corner? All right, I'll insight. Uh, I was gonna oh. oh. Insight. You can both do it. Yeah, you can both <laughs> yeah. do it. I mean, I'll let him. I'll let Bart go first, though. Okay. Come on, Jimmy Neutron. What you hiding? 
I'll give you I got a 16 it, plus one. <laughs> That's a 17. That's a... Yep. You get the sense that this is not my first rodeo. That I I am calm with no reason to be calm. Respectable. Hmm. Okay, I can go now. <laughs> Look! What is that little shuttle? <laughs> <laughs> I think Dogman just called out uh, Top Hat's inspiration for Jeremy. Look. <laughs> Feeling a bit aimed at. I'm not oh going to deny it, however. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not judging a lot. Did you say Jimmy Neutron? No, Doctor no. Who. Yeah. <laughs> I should I should have seen that coming. You did it? <laughs> I should have seen that one coming. I you guess didn't. we had it coming. I, like, I was trying to figure out why does this character seem so familiar, but sooner it's like Doctor Who, and like, that's why. <laughs> uh, the, the, third, the third one yeah. there, did you want an insight? Third one there? Yeah, he's sorry. You? <laughs> Look. <laughs> yeah. he, he's got a lot of names in his head. He can't keep uh, track of everybody. Yeah. Actually, wait, did we actually introduce ourselves to each other? No, you have not no. probably no. introduced yourselves to each other. <laughs> we were panicking. Yes. Well, two of us were well, panicking when we figured out what was happening. Mostly you. <laughs> Me and Flark. Yeah. Because my bird, sweetie pie. And your elf you friend. Yeah, too. Wow. Which, by the way, uh, Kata, like, Sweetie Pie has been, like, like happily, like, cooing, like, nuzzling at your face as, as y'all have been taking a nap. Aww. Well, as the others have been taking a nap, but you've just been kind of there. Yeah. Oh, town, sweetie pie. Da, 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 da. <laughs> but Isari, are you rolling on insight on Jeremy? Uh, actually, I thought I was going to sneak so I could try to peek at what he's doing. Oh, okay. okay. Roll me stealth. Because, like I said, I he's pretending to be asleep. And it's going but... to have to uh, break. Uh, um, Jeremy, what is your passive perception? Passive perception is 12. Okay, you gotta beat a 12. Okay, well, Kenku sneaky bird bird, so... <laughs> let's see how sneaky. Uh, yeah, let's see. Natural <laughs> one. No. Oh, don't you... that, would be, that would be bad. Don't uh, jinx it, please. You, you really <laughs> jinxed it. Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> you literally said in that one, and it's it's exactly what it ended up being. That oh, oh. You, you see go, how wrong it is. He's sorry. You, you go to try and sneak to look uh behind Jeremy's shoulder to like try and see what's going on, and he accidentally step on Sweetie Pie, deal, like getting a. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeremy, my no, fellow bird. How dare you? Watch where you're going! <laughs> Jeremy looks behind himself before snapping shut the red book and putting it back into his jacket pocket. You curse me, I want a re-roll. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, they can't, but... I know that's they... not how it works, but I want but a re-roll because he's yeah, I mean... Road. One of the one of the trigger warnings is time paradoxes. So if we want to, <laughs> we want to run wait, it back. Ah! Real quick. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, Road. Yes. I have a little suggestion for you. If somebody calls out a nat one next time and it's a nat one, <laughs> give that person a disadvantage on an important roll. You know what? Well, yeah, I'll go well, for now, it. Now, hang on. <laughs> I was, it was a bit targeted. Especially yes. if it is at a situation where someone goes like, oh, it was going to be a nat one, and then it actually rolls as yes. a nat one. Yes. I will incur for one roll, Karma. randomly selected, a disadvantage oh. on the one who called the jinx. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Randomly assigned sounds like it's going to bite me in the ass. Now. I am the it GM, will. bitch. <laughs> it will be random. It will be random to us. 
<laughs> yes. I am the GM and y'all are my bitches. <laughs> Whoa. No, your down. bitch is top hat. I'm Excuse the one that dogs the bitches. Me. Moving on. <laughs> Anyways, as this all happens, after he snaps <laughs> the book shut, he stands up and looks down at this giant bird and not scowling, not really disapproving, just no emotion whatsoever as he leans against his chair. Human scary no. friend. I go back now. <laughs> and then, sorry, just Don't kind of crawls up back. Bird again. Well, no, he, he just crawls that. back on his back. Like he lays back down and just pushes himself away <laughs> back at the well, I see everyone's awake. Was there any stir while we were resting, White Coat? He shakes his head and presses a button on the back of the chair, and it folds back up into a small pod, and he puts it back on his belt. No, it was pretty uneventful. You're very reliable. Well, thank you, case. I try to be. Hmm. Human, human, scary. I just realized something. We haven't presented ourselves. Yeah, I was, I, I was gonna I say will, something. I will not... Although I will present myself, and you might state your names, I will <laughs> not use them. <laughs> Understandable. My no, name it. is Mogar. And yes. I am an arranger. I was working as a monster slayer before being transported here trying to make a living an honest one mm -mm. I am <laughs> sorry I am Kenku I am Monk Kenku wanting to protect family don't understand how I got here but I'm missing precious item mm. I understand you are on a quest to retrieve your item. Yes. Retrieve item. Go home. All right. Looks over to the horny bastard. <laughs> <laughs> really? I didn't say it out loud. You did, in fact. No, I did not. <laughs> not that was Mogar. No, not... I didn't say it in character. I described his... I'm, and I cut you off well perfectly at that. I might as well introduce myself. My name is Kita. I've been on search for my for my parents for a little bit now, and I am a ranger, who's but as you know is a beast master, because I have my raven with me. Looks at his uh, look at his much much larger and more uh, prominent dog. <laughs> Okay, I, I just want to say this real quick. I was looking at the captions while you were saying that, and for whatever reason, it changed Kita to Shakira. Oh <laughs> There's your product inspiration. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that looks funny. Th that just reminded me of a bardcore version of, like, Hips Don't Lie. Oh okay. my lord. Uh, Clark, continue. <laughs> Mm -mm. As a, as I was saying, I was, I was on, on a dream to find my parents. I was with another party, a dragonborn, a paladin that can turn into a, a what looks like a beast. A, a little rabbit looking creature. And a, I forgot what these cre, what these beings are called, but, furblogs I think they're called. Furbogs. Furbogs, yeah. Goblinoids. Oh no, this one's this one was giant. No, no, they, they are big, but they're still considered goblinoids. Same yeah. uh, category. He had moose antlers for some odd reason. What? Don't, don't, I did not Mises. question it. Mises. Yes? Looks, looks at the... Uh, Hmm? Yes, Birdwood. Uh, Star, Star, you good? Star. Did you say yeah. something? He said Mises. Mises. 
Oh, okay. They're just making a play on words with mooses. Uh, ah. Mooses. And but, what about you, white coat? Uh, during all this, uh, Jeremy pulled out just a, a small postcard to write everyone's name down. And as he's giving his own name, he puts it back in his left uh, pocket. My name is Jeremy. I was I wasn't here, but I was here. Pretty much all you need to know. I don't trust you. Man. Information. Simple. I understand. It may not sound good, but trust me. The more you know about who I am and what I do and where I work, the better. Mm. Always knew you knew by name. Care. In any case, we have all rested. We have all recovered. Now is a good time to continue the road. Is your mm -hmm. bird all right? By the way, I heard it squawk earlier. Yeah, he's a yeah. Sweet bird's all right. He just the the big old the the big old birdo. Oh, just stepped on a tail feather. I call. Bird is bird I'm friend. calling. I'm calling you Birdo. Bird is bird. Because you, because you stepped on, on Sweet Pie's t tail feathers. Do I call you Horn? I call you Horny. <laughs> Mogar actually lets out a few chuckles at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but we definitely need a laugh after yeah. that battle. <laughs> all right, we, are we all ready? I, I I go over and actually grab my uh, the uh, my hand crossbow that I just let go of earlier. Forgot to pick up, and I'm just gonna grab that bolt that was uh, that missed earlier. There we go. Uh, and looking at these uh, centaur things, like, is any, anything that looked prominently uh, deadly apart um, from the, the I'm, tail? I mean, the tails were definitely the worst on them um, because they are serrated. Um, their claws are also uh, pretty bad. Um, does the claw look like they could still hold uh, some charges? Um, like, like lightning damage. You know what? I, actually, I I would. Mm, white coat, could you come over for a moment? I would need your help. You seem like the more magicy type. Could you help me figure out if these claws could still hold <laughs> some magical powers? We he shrugs and walks over to the claws. Since you are rolling especially on a creature, I will allow you to roll either just either investigation or survival. Uh wow, that's a tough choice. Um uh, I could go investigation. I'm gonna go survival, and I think we, I think we could put our heads together on stuff. Yeah. Um, okay. Are you wanting but... to give Jeremy a help? I. Th okay, Jeremy. Just, uh, just uh, as you know, my, my, I have a zero investigation, so that's why I'm leaving that up to you. <laughs> but would you, would you, uh, perf like, what's your bonus? Uh, for investigation? Yeah. At plus 10. Plus... Okay, well, I'm gonna help you then. That, <laughs> that's gonna give you advantage. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, Rode, if I, you look at my character sheet, you'll know why I picked investigation over survival. So, oh, yeah. So no, I just, know, sweetie. Just the thing is, though, I know how to butcher a beast. So... Just, just the offhand knowledge. Yes, well, butchering isn't the correct course of action here, but I'll oh, no. see what I can do. I'll definitely dissect it, but with uh, your guiding hand, if you need it, I simply have experience. Uh, 
dismantling creatures. Duly noted. Um, oh, that no, is a you. 23 for investigation. Damn, nice. that's including the help? Yes. Okay, yeah. You have dealt with, like, similar creatures from this before, uh, Jeremy, and you have a, a pretty... Like, you can easily assume that there's at least one charge left of, like, some sort of lightning attack from these claws. However, wielding them so that the wielder doesn't deal with the brunt of the attack is very uh, is a delicate process. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. He, of course, they... relays this to Mobert. Mm -hmm. So they would need gloves. Bird. Right? You will have you will have new fist weapons. <coughs> Very efficient, and the <coughs> first strike will be deadly. Okay. I will, uh, I will take offering. Yes, not yet. <laughs> any anyone skilled in leather working, or at least wants to help me with it, <coughs> I will put. Huh? I'm asking the group now, because yeah. I'm going to basically remove the. Cl claws, you know, carefully, just and empty them, use the creature's uh, hide to uh, fashion s some uh, wick leather, <laughs> although it, it's it's gonna take it's it's not gonna be the most uh, comfortable uh, fit because it's fresh. <laughs> right. <laughs> I will Fresh use the dry side for the inside. Yeah, uh, I will well, Mogar? Oh, yes. What were you going to say? I would like to, uh... Man, I was going to be cheesy and, Can I use animal handling to handle this beast's guts? <laughs> but... Because I don't know why I, I chose low survival. Well, but, uh, <laughs> I, I, I still have plus two survival. Just, just right. Saying. It's more than my intelligence and charisma, so... <laughs> right, no, when it comes to trying to... Or sleight of hand, actually. I could do that. For delicate work. Hmm. Uh, let me I was see. trying to check and see, but unfortunately I do not have any kind of... I have cartographer tools and brewer supplies. Which, I don't even know how the fuck I got brewer supplies, but I'm going with it. Okay, what tools do I have? Oh. I have to look at that again. I mean, technically, any blade will do for this. So that's why I'm going to use my axe. <laughs> <laughs> I got well, I, I got short okay. sword. As so do I. I also have a short sword. Well, now hang on. As Jeremy sees Mogar wielding this giant battle axe for a tiny claw, he just stops Mogar for a second and hmm? offers his dagger. Oh, a much more useful tool in this situation. Okay. All right, I will grab this. I'm going to grab the dagger and use it as a skinning knife and, you know, basically em to emptying these uh, meaty claws. <laughs> what uh, did you say? Meaty Big claws. Meaty claws. Big meaty claws. <laughs> I actually had an Australian accent for whatever fucking reason. <laughs> Big <laughs> meaty claws. Okay. So, okay, anybody want to uh, give me the uh, little bit of help? Sure, uh, I want to help. And Alrighty then. given it is, like, delicate work, I will say that you will have the choice. that uh, You can choose between either survival or sleight of hand. I'm well, assuming you're going to lean more towards sleight of hand. Also, while they're all doing oh, that... Oh, my God! Hey, oh. hey want, to, want to know something funny? What? What? That's why. Right. Oh my god. With plus four. So that's 24. <laughs> Let's go. I was going to say, uh, while everybody's kind of doing that, Asari's just being an awkward little bean and he's going over to Sweetie Pie just trying to, like, apologize. And show he's like, just, like, give him some of his favorite snacks. <laughs> How do you know what the favorite snacks? Uh, you, 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 go to Sweetie Pie. You, you go to Sweetie Pie, and there is, thankfully, like, you do still know a decent bit of 
of like I guess like traditional Corvid if we're wanting to go for like anything linguistic so you're able to have like some bit of conversation with Sweetie Pie Sweetie Pie is still like a little perturbed yep. but accepts the offering of snackies <laughs> hey bird friend I apologize sorry bird friend did not mean to step on okay wow. so actually... translation you're still a you're not much to bitch as before. <laughs> Your master's still horny. <laughs> okay, so is he? Okay, does Isari have uh, fist weapons? Because Monk can use those. Do, do you have fist weapons? Uh, no, at the moment I do not. I have uh, a short sword, as far as the weapon is concerned. Okay. So honestly. Uh, even after the first charge is gone, you can still use them to eviscerate people. Yeah. So I punch, punch. Yeah. yeah. So I will say, write down in your notes, Star. You have been given um, enough claws to deal one time. We will say, considering the pulling from the original info. Uh, two d six pl uh, damage plus your modifier. So Sorry, that was... that's that's the that's the one time use damage, or is that just like the the damage overall now? That is a one time damage. Okay, so the claw just breaks afterwards. Yeah, the claws lose their charge after the one time. You okay. were so able it's still to a very... weapon, it just wouldn't have the charge. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, and then I'm just going to rip out its uh, lower spine, including the tail, and gonna, like, r rope it around my belt, belt like a whip. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be a fragile motherfucker. Nah, oh, the spine on... portion. No, 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 the, the, the um, okay, so the, the tendons are fresh and the skin on the tail is still soft. Ad break. So, oh, <laughs> so, a perfect tendons... time over talking about it, the anatomy of this, uh, of this so, dissected tail. Skin is pretty fucking tough and this is not just any skin. This is a hell, this, this is a fiend's, uh, hide. So if anything, I'm going to be using that as a fucking whip. <laughs> and since, so... It is serrated. Yeah, a serrated whip. All right. Oh, if boy. It... So, and let me pull the info on a whip. I'm oh, sorry. He said it was of... two D6s because I, 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 he's given a new fist sorry. weapon. It's a claw, oh. but it only has a charge. Oh, for the That's claw, one time I mistook the two D6 with the two D4. Two D6 is from the hooves. Two D4 oh, yeah. is the claw. And that is actually the normal slashing damage. 2d8 is the lightning damage. So you have one lightning charge. Okay. So you can so, still do 2d4 for like a normal slashing attack. And the whip also be 2d4. The, the yeah, the whip I'll allow 2d4. Okay. So do you will you have it being slashing or piercing? Uh, considering it's originally set as slashing on the enemy, I'll have it set as slashing. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh. Alright, so the I just want to clarify to make sure I have it correct. My notes. Yeah. He gets two d eight. Yeah, so with the very first time that you attack with those claws, you get 2d4 slashing damage and 2d8. Any other any attack after that will only be 2d4. The 2d4 is see, slashing damage, the 2d8 is lightning damage. Do you see how useful it is to to fucking butcher creatures? Like it gives them a little more flavor, a little more use after death instead of just, ah, it's an enemy. Nothing can be done afterwards. This is definitely Ooh. one way to loot the body. <laughs> and yeah. I'm, 
And afterwards, I'm going to cut off the heads of one of, like, of the one that's remaining, because the other one completely disintegrated. Yep. And I'm going to hang it on the, the dog saddle. The still <laughs> oh bleeding <my> head. <laughs> Here's just, your trophy, just... Warg. Yep, Be just proud. a trophy. Uh, works just as gruesome as ever. Never gets old. <laughs> Well, a good hunt needs a trophy now, doesn't it? Uh, I agree oh, with Lord. that. I actually agree with that. There we go. Unfortunately, White Coat, yours has completely vanished from existence. <laughs> <laughs> My what, sorry? Your trophy. Your trophy. Yeah. You're... It's yeah, not sorry. just ash. If you want to collect ash as a trophy, be my guest. He I shook his I... head. He shakes his head and he pats a uh, special spot in the three hundreds on his uh, utility belt and goes, "Nap, nah, I got enough." All right. Eh? What? Hold up. Doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> All right. No, I, I got enough. I'm ash. not gonna question anymore. it anymore. <laughs> Are we? Hmm. Wait. People, people, cinders or <laughs> drug? Hmm. Just ash, you know. Doesn't need to specify it. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Human scary again. He goes towards the door. Are we ready? The yes. next room yes. might hold a more dangerous enemy, or a mind-boggling situation. <laughs> What's up, it's? It's not as deadly as before. Still, once again, let's stay clear of the door. I yeah. push the door open and get out of the way quickly. Because you... I don't trust this place. Okay, so you nudge the door. There's no resistance from the door. It creaks open just a little bit. You hear no change, but there is a very bright light coming from somewhere in the room that breaks through the cracks. Any sound? Any sounds of creatures or signs of life? You hear the sounds of very large wings. And you also hear a very soft whispered humming. I'm going to look over the corner and gaze at what we see. Or what we could see. What you see, um, first, you, the first thing that you see is a eerily tall woman in this ginormously, like, tall uh, room. This woman has beautifully long, bright hair, like sun rays, as a taper down like a waterfall from her cage, close but not touching the floor. Uh, would I know what creature this is? Uh, what, what being this is? I'll leave it up to you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I'm you, a bit confused, though. Just saying. Yeah, um, if you want to roll, I'll let you roll either History or Arcana. Okay, let's let's see uh, which I have better. Zero history and zero arcana. Straight oh, roll. Lord. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. That's a two. Yeah. I am completely confused at what the fuck I'm seeing. That's a two. What the <laughs> hell is that? Uh, uh, pretty lady, giant woman. Hello, step on me. Lady Dimitras. <laughs> <laughs> Not orc enough. <laughs> Missing some greenish skin and some warts and some scars. What woman like you? Do you want me? Do you want me to check what it is? You? Uh, sure. Or... I have no idea. What it is. <laughs> so Looks what do humanoid. I? So what do I roll for? Again? You can roll either history or arcana. Let's see. For arcana, I got plus two. For history, I got plus two. It's not going to be able to go for either or. Right. Blow clap. Oh, I got 18. 
Nice. Oh. Are you wanting that for a history check or arcana check? I'll go with history. History. Good. Because you remember <laughs> when you were talking with the entity earlier, he was talking about finding his song, and he also talked to he also referred to his his song in the feminine. You have pretty you can you you have a good enough confidence to say that this might be either whether calling the individual his son was metaphorical or literal this might be the person that he is looking for oh. <laughs> hey Vos this might be the one mm. Mm. but yeah. Mogar and Kira you can also see with especially given the sound of flapping that you heard earlier you also see a wyvern making rounds around the cage that the woman is in don't think that's her oh, have fuck. a much better friend to contend with prepare your ranged weapons aim <laughs> for it aim for its shoulders oh, or wings shoot it out of the sky and mind the tail uh, uh, if if I if I remember correctly, these creatures are monstrosities, are they not? Uh, no. The one, I'm just going to wyvern. say it straight. It is a wyvern. It is a dragon. Are you? Sh you sure? What I'm seeing. What, what I'm seeing okay, currently. Well. Yeah, currently on D and D Beyond, they are listed as a dragon. <laughs> uh, dang. Oh well, it's fine. Oh, fine. oh well. we tried. We tried. Go back. Regroup team. <laughs> no. Anyways. That's the motherfucking dragon. That's a wyvern motherfucking dragon. Are you sure you want to attack Ooh. this thing, you, you big old orc? <laughs> yes. Just mind the tail. I can see uh, a stinger. We, 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 we didn't do good last time. We are okay. There were two last time. Now there is only one. That's all it yeah, needs to be. But those were too small. This is one big. And what and, coloration is it? And it's a big target. What color is it, Wyvern? Uh, the Wyvern... Uh, the color doesn't actually matter on the Wyvern, but I will say... Okay. I, I will just say it's like a tannish brown. But yeah, no, Wyverns are lesser dragons. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you don't really have to worry about anything elemental with wyverns. Like, like breath attacks and all that. Right? I am. I'm just saying. Slayers prey. And, uh. And hunters. Slayers prey and hunters mark. Yeah, on it. Straight up. Okay. Hunter's Mark has no indicator. Indicators. Uh, uh, the, no. You're going robot. Oh, you're again. a robot, buddy. Oh, yeah. sorry. Going beep boop. Okay, so, still. Okay. No, you're good. Okay, so, I'm going to tell. Okay. <clears throat> Ready your ranged attacks. We will give it a barrage, like last time. <sighs> Here we go again. Let's hope New nobody dies. New weapon time. Mm. You, we will not use your new weapons yet. Only when it comes in terrain. It is flying. So use your darts. Okay. <laughs> that sounded so disappointing. Aww. Oh, wait. That's right. My crow is in My raven also has can attack. Yeah. Or at the very but, least, oh, distract it. But and oh shit, not get the hit eaten. points. Yeah, raven. yeah, no. It's it's it. It's the squishy. raven is it's the squishy. raven is more of an annoyance that can aid you in uh, like distracting the uh, opponent. Yeah. But apart from that, yeah, no. It's <laughs> I would I would suggest only evasive maneuvers. So <laughs> yeah. get Prompt in one bite. Yeah. Yeah. Couch out its eyes. Yeah, no, that's that that's way too close for uh 
For, okay, anyways, everybody ready to shoot for the surprise round? B. Uh, Initiative! Yeah. Initiative! Just so that we can have right. some... One, two, three, four. 14! 14! Oh, wow. I Once again, I go last with a five. Oh, that is I, I rolled a at 12. <laughs> 12 for Kita. Are you... 16. Oh. Uh, Dogman, are you rolling for Wadik as well? Oh, yes, Wadik. Uh, I mean, he, he can't shoot. So. I can make him hold his action, so wait. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. They'll just bark massively. So, okay. So that is a... I'm not sure if it was a 15 or a 13, so I'm going to choose a... 13 uh, because I grabbed the dice so that is a 13 plus 2 so that's 15 all right and Jeremy what do you have for your initiative 16 16 16. awesome all right so looks like Jeremy you start us off Wonderful. So he pulls out his impossibly large gun once again, turns a dial on it, and it flickers lights again. Uh, or colors, rather. Uh, and it changes into a revolver. Um, shoot to hit for a 10. Miss. Yeah. So it misses, hits whatever wall or roof behind smacks it again and tries once more for a 24 that hits I was hoping I could have done like the game grumps and a fire and a mist and a fire <laughs> and a mist uh, uh, only if damage, everybody misses damage was 15 I saw yep uh, damage is 2d8 plus 3 so it is 15 Ooh, beautiful wonderful did you smite it Sure, why the hell not? I'll, I'll Every, allow it. Damage will, will do it. I'll allow it. Add yeah. the smite. Uh, smite 2d6. It is a 9. Nice. Ooh, nice. Good call on that smite, Dogman. Yes. Uh, like, I am, like, when it comes to D&D, I am good on hey. Let's fucking murder it quick Let's and fuck hard. Shit up. Yeah. Let's fuck shit up. <laughs> I, I, I am also starting to tap out, so I may forget some aspects. Yeah, we have about like twenty-eight minutes left of the uh, left of stream. Hopefully, we will actually finish off the wyvern right um, right at that point. Though it does obviously mean we'll need a second part for this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, so, so that means we might as well just, uh, call shots and just hit, miss, less description, so we can speed run this, uh, this encounter. Yeah. If everybody's good with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okie dokie. So, Warg obviously, GTA. yeah, Warg obviously can't do a whole hold lot action. because Warg is... Yeah. Yeah. So just hold action. Yep, yep. Sorry. Yeah, I'm going to use my darts. You use the normal darts. Okay, roll to hit. 19. Hit. Nice. Six. Six. Nice. E. Okay, Kita. All right. Take out my longbow to fire. That is 18 plus 7. Nice. Ooh, that hits. Yep, but uh, I'm trying. Yeah. That would be a 25. Yep. No, no, no. no. 18. No, that would be a 26. Regardless, it hits. And that is. That is a 7, so I got 9 damage. Nice. Right. Good, good, good. And, and I can attack twice because I have 2 at. Text for action too. Okay. Do it That's in the cool. wing; it might get fall damage. Tear its wing up. Another eighteen. Woo! Brain is it on. The... Brain it on. 
Okay, and another seven. That's nine again. Uh, Dag, um, nine. you're getting some consistent rolls, buddy. All right. Ooh. Mogar. I hit this. This is going to be big damage. <laughs> so, okay, so there's... I want to stick from Hunter. He's from Slayer. Oh, you're okay. robotic. You're robotic. You're pooping. Yeah, yeah. My headsets are starting to die of uh... old age. Uh... So, let me just read one last thing from my uh, specialization. Just right. making sure. Uh, so... Okay. 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 So now, first off, I roll for the Yamaish. One, two, four. Five. Well, wait. What was the hit? Hmm? No, I didn't hit yet. Okay. Uh, now I rolled. Okay. So that's twelve plus seven. So that's 19. That hits. Okay. Now for the big boy damage. We're playing with the big boys now. Oh, now. You're oh. playing with the big boys now. All right, give it to okay. me. In the literal sense. <laughs> uh, let me just look uh, again at this. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Good, 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 good. Everything is in order. Okay. One, two, three, four. So that is nine plus ten, nineteen damage. Alrighty. Oh, oh wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Oh. oh, never mind. I have to. Uh, okay, so it wasn't. I, I used my battle axe uh, thing for for it, but I, it, I rolled a one on it and four on the others. So do you just want me to... You know, I, I'll just keep the one as penalty for that. Yes. So that's still 19. Okay, I will allow it. Whew! This oh. absolute... Actually, uh, let me just check again. Yeah, feel uh, free. Would... Okay. Uh, make that 17. 17. Make... Yeah. Right that's still. That's for the hand crossbow. Okay. Y'all have just been barraging on this wyvern right at a perfect spot when uh, he has gotten, like, in front of uh, this woman in the cage, almost seeming to be, uh, like, covered behind him in basically a sunlight just boom, boom, boom. You start breaking at him, especially at the Wayne that is closest to you all to the point to where it just fumbles over itself. The wyvern, like, struggles to get to the floor, like, struggles to get to a decent landing, but fails uh, dealing with a little bit of extra damage. Can you roll for it to, uh, to see if it falls prone? Uh... You know what? Let's see. It maintains. Okay. But Oof. that does mean y'all, like, he is definitely showing signs of damage. He's not looking good. Jeremy, top of the round. <laughs> you know, uh, he is going to readjust some uh, configurings on his uh revolver and shoot twice again okay it seems to work so well and it's a 12 <laughs> miss <laughs> first shot always misses he bangs it against his leg again colors weaving around and the next one is a 20 <laughs> <laughs> is, is it uh, for damage, it is a 15. And another shot careening for the wyvern as it is now... Oh, that was not right. Nice. 
Let's see who gets the killing blow first. (laughs) As you... As the wyvern is Uh, screaming in pain now, the lady is, like, now, like, turns her head, seeing what's going on, seeing the wyvern on the ground, as she just yells out a voice similarly booming. Uh, It's like a similar boom to the bodiless voice that you heard earlier. What are you doing? Yelling a dragon, ma'am. We'll be right there. Helping? Uh, Also, I, it was, uh, uh, remember Warg's held action? Yes. The held action. So, just stor- storming in, uh, going for a bite. If you wish us not to kill it, say so now. Or at the very least, pacify it so we don't have to. Why would you need to kill it in the first place? Look, lady. Big work man said so. You're in a cage. Possible danger. They were circling around it. Context clues are there. Did you not once think that maybe it was meant to be? Uh, Fake nope. said so. Uh, all right. Where I come from, wyverns are always evil. Yeah, 98% of wyverns are in fact evil. Where Tell I- us now, would it have not attacked us if we did not attack it first? It would have stayed had you had. It would have stayed had you done the same. Hmm. Well. Hmm. In... Elfman, heal, heal Wyvern. Pacify, I... gift. Well, it is too late now. If you wish us to spare its life, we m- might, but it will be injured. To a point where it will no longer be a threat. A life is a life disabled is still a life, but know the guilt that you have have to live with. I have no guilt. Neither do I, ma'am. Got it surgically removed a few years back. We have a mission. And what mission? Is that to find, save you? To find a individual's song, as it were, and keep them safe. Whose song? As you we were not given a name, and I will be. Uh, the the boy will be trying to chomp uh, at the neck of the beast. Oh boy! Are you not... wanting to roll for that? Do you want me to roll for that? If you want to. Well, I'm go- going to at the very least pat the dog on the head for lo- non-lethal. So we're basically going to be slowly choking it out until it passes out right. <laughs> with teeth. So, you know, violence. An orc's best friend. Right. As you mention, like, the topic of someone's song, you see... Uh, It's going to be a 10 to try and and hit, so... That that misses. (laughs) Yep. Yep. The aura in the room definitely changes as... For a moment, the lady is stagnant. You can barely sense that, like, her eyes have, like, widened in, like, a sense of shock. But then as she starts to stand in this cage, you especially get to see that you especially notice just how tall she is. Especially as the cage starts to (laughs) descend. The closer that it gets to the ground, the more that you see. There is no light to see how tall this hall is. And with that... Lady Big. Oh, she is ginormous. As 
like when oh, the I cage finally comes down, turning to a giant woman. She, that she woman. is like seventy feet tall. Damn, Minimum. Lady Dimitrescu. Damn, Lady Dimitrescu got a crack. <laughs> And her hair is beyond long as well. As she like, when you see like the bird ca the the cage come down, her hair starts to come down practically like a waterfall of light. But the closer that she comes down to your level, the more the light dims. When mm. the cage completely comes down, she pushes the door open walking towards you all towering over you she doesn't even give you the respect to kneel down to your level okay but is she, like is she gonna like grab her pet wyvern or something she is she gently okay. picks the wyvern up i will stop attacking <laughs> in one hand and starts like mother like like a mother Stroking it with her other hand. I will pass one of the healing potions since this thing is no longer a threat to, to them. We might as well give it this as an apology. Give you... Elf friend too. Elf, elf heal. No, no, we're we're only giving one bottle. Yeah, are you giving a major or a minor, or greater or minor? Honestly, we don't really need the major. That is overheal for overkill. Yeah. So right. we will give it the major and okay. keep the minor. So everybody agree with me? Yeah. Yep. Sure. Okay. You give Use the major. Yeah, you give that potion to her as she You you have a sense that there is some restraint that she is using at this point as she takes the the potion that barely it just that that is completely just taken by her fingers as she brings it up to her wyvern oh ad break ad, yeah ah, ad. Dad, it. <laughs> I, I love this so far this... yeah like oh we almost killed it i'm sorry were we not supposed to kill the other two as well <laughs> what other two? Let's try not to mention those ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Might be the best. I mean, yeah. yeah. Or just don't mention where the I weapons mean, that we're currently hey. using came from. <laughs> Listen, li well, okay. I kinda... You have yeah. its tail wrapped around your waist. Well, not it... wrapped around my waist. Like Indiana Jones is in it. Uh, but <laughs> it's also kind of hard to defend yourself pointing a gun at, at your wyvern. Like, I mean, yeah, but still, now, like, for the first ones, we can say it was to save Sida's, uh, Kida's, uh, bird that was in a cage held by those two. So, it was defense, protection. Exactly. She can't possibly argue that. Don't mention it, then. <laughs> <laughs> if it's going up, we won't mention and okay, don't point I, out the weapons. Okay. Where did those <laughs> come from? Nowhere. Uh, we have like 10 seconds left of ads. Uh, ads okay. are done. No, For me I as have well. seconds. Oh, well. I mean, everybody has a difference. Yeah. Twitter. Uh, tw Twitter. Uh, <laughs> Twitch is not equal. Same thing. Yeah. In their own rights. Okay. I'm back. Yeah. Oh, ads are gone. Ads are oh. done. Okay. So... This Thanks, woman everybody. who is holding a wyvern in her hands, it looks at you like with a very notable sense of not necessarily like a betrayal, but a much stronger than a disappointment. And who I'm not. Told uh, I'm you? just disappointed. I'm. Ju I'm just gonna look at them. I am sorry, but keep your scowl to yourself. We are only doing this so that we may return home. And who told you to find this song in order to be home? 
Yeah, you... ma'am, like two minutes back, big booming voice in the sky. He who owns this realm, and we will only be able to go to our home once it happens. Yeah. And we require to be home. Of for course. our lives depends need, on it. Need precious item back. I want to find my parents. Not to mention that this one sending us on a mission also offered reward, but that is the lesser reward, in my opinion. Yeah. Of course. Not happy with voices, guy? No. And I hope in time you can understand why. Silence is a man who does not take no for an answer. To the point to where he has barred me from returning to even my own domain. Though we are both gods, I have lost my power due to being under his for so long. And what, yet he wants to continue it? to keep me at his side. Well then, how about a bargain? Depends. Because from what I've seen, while you have spared my guardian, it was only after I showed only a glimpse of my own rage. So to be fair, ma'am, to be fair, ma'am, you could have spoken up when we got in the room. Just saying. We and you could have done more to restrain yourself speaking. as soon as you got into this room, but I don't hear anything about that. He swipes on his utility belt to I, number I, 937 I, and brings out a storybook. Ma'am, it is like 90% of these situations are bad. It's human I, nature. That's I will, all I'm saying. I will get off my my wolf and look her straight in the eye. I'm looking as high as I need to. <laughs> we are lesser creatures. Intelligent, but still wandering. We do not know of the future, and we cannot foretell of the danger. Have we not striked first? We could have feared or even have died to the first strikes of an enemy. These are the fears of the lesser creature. Play unfair, play smart, survive. We only did what we thought was right, for our lives depend on it. Unknown enemy must defend. Lady in cage, natural defend. Fear is what keeps us alive. And we only attacked your guardian out of fear. Fear should not be your only reason to push to survive. No, that... but it is the only way we know and the only way that has kept our species safe. That's how I survive against a dragon. For fear. Ugh. Too many things can kill a simple creature such as I or them. So we fear and we attack which what we do not know. But with understanding, we can restrain ourselves and find peace. Answer me this then. Why not have hope alongside fear? Fear overtakes in silence, but hope brings light with song. Can they not oh. can they not collaborate just as much as they counter? Hope is a difficult construct for such as one as I, but it is not unknown. Hope can only peer through the darkness of fear with a chance, a visible glimpse of something better. If we would have glimpsed something else other than a large, monstrous beast, or th th any fiends, 
or other creatures not wielding tooth and claw, we would have hope if they simply communicated laughter, positive emotion, maybe, but we did not see, for we do not have the time to examine every little behavior that we come across of any creature and risk risk is too great to ignore. I think I'm pretty doing pretty good with this voice. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it, it, it needs a bit more... Uh, nah. A little more gruff, but nah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I'm... Pr I'm, pr I'm pr the acting's on. <laughs> no, I really? fucking love this. She looks at you like for a moment still with her own size intimidating but you see a moment of consideration in her expression before you see her start to change size her hair shrinks along with her but the the closer that she gets towards your uh, all of your size it almost kind of seems like because uh, while she was dim in her greater size the smaller she's become, the brighter that she's become. But she does still try to control it to the point where it's not blinding. Her wyvern also shrinks along with her in her hand, becoming not even larger than like a gecko until she is finally around your level. She whistles, creating a bubble that encapsulates her wyvern before the bubble is sent up to the ceiling. Like, See basically, what universe like a Yes, yes. <laughs> 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 All I want to do is see you turn into a giant woman. <laughs> uh, Speaking hey, of, it is twelve fifty six. Yeah. So I will say this one this last bit uh yeah. of her before we end it for tonight. She looks at you all for a moment, her hands coming together. Like, like, in front of her chest. I see to it that time and silence have never been kind to you, whether here or anywhere, whether you're homes or away from home. Yeah. I propose to you this. Let us keep to silence his plan, but I know ways on how to subdue him. Oh. But all the same, there is one that may be the riskiest of all. I need to find the Ashen Call. Will oh dear. You, will you help me find it? We'll yeah, we got me? a bit of ash. <clears throat> Will uh, you promise us the return home? Your return home will be as strong as any song that, that is ever sung. Because songs bring hope, even in the darkest of times, and there will always be hope. No matter what dimension, no matter what world, even when everything is to the brink of twilight, there is always enough to bring the to bring prosperity back, even if it feels futile. So no matter what befalls you here, I will make sure that you return home. If you find me the Ashen Call. I look at the others. Hmm. A good action for the same reward would be best taken for the yeah. good of all. Does, do you all agree? Yes, I trust do. Trust lady or trust voice? Mm. I'm with bird brain over here. We've then... been given two sides of the same story. Who are we to say which one is correct? I, I mean, trust we could... the light a little bit more. How about we you? Could, we could walk through that door and find ourselves in a similar situation 
with the booming voice from before in a cage. You cling to fear now in front of a, mal- of, of a generous being. It's not <laughs> fear. It's just... Logic. Logic, yes. I would... I would like to know more about this world that we've been dropped into. That's my job. That is a very sound question. But the information will come. I feel that now we should probably find a bit of a safer spot. There are no more creatures to harm you here. Not while you are in my good graces. Well, I assume your good graces also hides your presence and ours currently from silence, correct? It does. Then we will have much to talk about. I think this that that last line is a good one to end it on. Absolutely. (laughs) Cliffhanger. That story is called Cliffhanger. I, I, I am bowing. I am bowing. No, bowing, that was bowing, amazing. Bowing. Let's fucking go. <laughs> uh, I basically I, just comedy relief. It's me and me and Flarg are both just here like comedy relief. <laughs> oh no, I got I got oh, stuff Flarg, planned for all of you. I was hoping that y'all Flarg would look is, at some things. To comedy relief. <laughs> I was hoping that y'all would look at certain things, but I will I will figure out ways to get you that info yet. <laughs> also, I honestly um. I, I really like this. I'm really happy, and I will do it at the same time next yeah. time. If, yeah. Like honestly, very, very, very content, very yeah. happy. Oh, it's absolutely. One a.m. for me. Yeah. Yeah, it's so, one for me too, and I'm sicky icky. Yeah. So let me switch over and let's prepare to rain out. Cause who boy, I think we deserve some more happier stuff going on after this. And I mean, he was happy. <laughs> uh, let's see. You know what? I have a friendo who is apparently looking at some funny older, like, holiday commercials. Do we want to go to that or do we want to go to, uh, what is this person doing? Because I haven't rated out to them in a while either. Uh, looks like they are watching scary videos. I'll take the holidays. The, the, Christmas. The Christmas. Crimson. Christmas. Yee. Okie dokie. So that means we're going to be reading out to our beloved, wholesome, sucky bay, asterisk official. So before we do that, if anyone is uh, interested to keep up with any updates on the community schedule, anything like that, feel free to check out the Discord. Uh, do know that when you hop in, you have 15 minutes to verify that you have read the rules. Otherwise, you will be temporarily booted by one of the bots meant to curb against hate raids and trolls. You can also check out my. Very fast. <laughs> you can also check out my card, which includes links for the <laughs> YouTube channel where all my vods are up, are archived, including a second YouTube channel that's going to be dedicated to con lane and lore showcases, video discussions, things of that nature. Um, and yeah, if you want to support me financially, there's a few ways that you can do that. Um, not only can you check out my Kofi and get commissions over there, you can also check out my throne and buy certain things that have been on my wish list over there. That said, let's get the raid message out. Here's the version for passers by. Here we go. And then there's a version for followers, and here comes the version for subscribers. All right, and let's get the raid going to asterisks. Now, do know that while this is the end of stream, this is not the end of our time together, as the road to dusk will always be open for another adventure. Thank you all so, so much for sticking around. Please have a wonderful rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is in your time zone, as we say. Bye-bye. Bye. See you. Bye.